Oh, is Emily not here? Damn. Well, that's okay. We can we can record the session without her. That's right. right. Yeah. Welcome back. Lots changed. Uh, I got a sore throat. Jane got a new computer throat, and Emily went on a trip. Throat. Yep. Crowd's already thinning out. Look at these gaggle people. We're missing. Uh, we're missing four now. We're missing a lot of the serious characters. Unfortunately, <laughs> we we lost three of them. Did we? No, no, we lost four serious characters. What the fuck? Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah. Renma's nah. serious. Uh, Kauri was pretty serious. The maid was definitely serious. Tennis player was serious. Ryoma was serious. It's just like, I did shit. enjoy telling her to go make me a sandwich. <clears throat> what? The maid. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You just go, go make me a sandwich. We still have all the goofballs. We have some serious characters here, but we have not lost a single goofball. Hey, Jaden. Impossible difficulty. Find Tenko. Founder. <laughs> it's just really funny. <laughs> I will be back soon. You'll have to give her the same challenge. Yeah, yeah, of course. Is it just me or is the robot floating? I feel like his his two D sprite was placed wrong. He's just like standing at the edge, you know. That's not standing at the edge. That's like over the. That, that's that's floating. That looks really weird and dumb. All right. So here. So who are we? You, who did you decide on? Uh. Mew, I guess. Mew is free this entire chapter. Yeah. Mew's free the entire chapter. Maki's finally free uh, now. Maki would also be fun. What are their? What are their? What, is, what do they give you? What does Mew give you? Never mind. Maki's blocked on the first one. Oh, Maki, you prick. Uh, what does Mew give you? Yeah. I'm back. We'll get along. We both like children's television. Allie's also back. Nice. Miu's skill is XX X ray goggles. Of course. of course. Uh once part of an object becomes visible, the entire object will be shown during your imagination excavation. That's, that's... terrible. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> that's enough. awful. But I do wanna do her support set anyways. Now alternatively We don't have to. Don't have to. What about Maki's? Oh, I do. I do want to do Maki's. Um, yeah, we could do Maki's. I mean, the thing, the the thing is, is that like Maki feels so end game that like, I, financing. I, oh, that's the one that gives you more money. Double your mono coin. Okay, that's actually even less useful. <laughs> Wait, actually, but if you get more mono coins, that means you have to do less stupid bullshit. Right? But here's the thing: I have to do zero stupid bullshit, so it would do absolutely nothing. Alright, well I want to do Maki's, uh, just like with Mew, I want to do Maki's anyways, because I like her. <laughs> yes. You'll beat, you'll beat the class child. Now what about anyways. Angie? Oh yeah, she's, she's um, such a fucking trial three or four, like, victim. You can only hang out with Angie oh, she's killing three someone. times this chapter. Yeah, she's killing someone. I, no, no, I think, here, here's my hot, here's my, here's my prediction. I think Angie and Himiko are going to get double murdered in this chapter. Well that would just be a copy of Persona 2. And or no, no, no. <laughs> that'd be a copy of Danganronpa spoiled. one and two, because like oh, they'll do it again probably. Yeah, that's true, but I feel like they they like to switch shit up every game. I, I feel like I feel like at the very least Himiko's not long for this world, assuming that she's not the mastermind like you saw it for a bit. 
like my current thought is that the mastermind's actually kaito and that would explain what the dialogue mm -hmm. was I, I i could see that although i don't know if they'd like flag <laughs> it so obviously but but the thing with himiko is they already did like uh, a trial yeah. where the evidence is related to a magic trick she did so i feel like they're they're done with her i feel like kukichi's you can skill only would hang be out with kaito two times this chapter uh-oh I bet Kokichi has a thing where he makes your live bullets better. Now Kokichi's free all chapter. I don't want to hang Whoa. out with this fucking shithead. Let's just do Maki or Miyu. Oh, uh, Kokichi's skill is uh, influence drain slower while a live bullet is loaded. That's not really That's good. not super useful, but I did notice that it actually does take a lot of your influence. Yeah, but you just switch it like real quick, you know? Yeah. I'm gonna probably hang out with If Mew. you hang out with uh, Mew, you're fine. Yeah. But for your bonus event, you're going to want to talk to Himiko in the morning when the Mana Cub summons everyone to the gym. Okay. Did and you say what do Mew I have was to available have? All chapter? All chapter. Okay. What do I have to you have, have on me? You have to have the Gun of Man's Passion. That's uh, probably the way to do it. Let's not do this event. <laughs> That's unnecessary. Maybe she'll just shoot us with it. We can only hope. I mean, Chuichi doesn't deserve to be shot. Jade, can you, tell, uh... can you tell us if we're going to see something we would rather not see if we do this event? I mean, what would you. Oh, I do have the gun of man's passion. What do you not want to see? It's I don't powerful, see but only the worthy a... may fire it. I don't Embrace it a... to feel a man's fantasy. I don't want to see a nude or nearly nude Himiko. That's what I don't want to see, Jada. <laughs> that silence is deafening. For now. <laughs> oh, did we start the recording? Yeah, yeah, we did. Okay. Yeah. We should rest. To me, that seems the most rational course of action. Should we, what are you talking about? Oh, no, no, I was just mentally thinking about a scene with me and Himiko. What? Yeah, my brain's out of juice from going full throttle all day. Like you even have a brain to use. Anyway, this killing game is over. I won't allow it to go on. As long as we listen to it too, we'll be just fine. Hmm. What's wrong? What's wrong, Gonta? Why are you staring up at the sky? It just... Even when all bad stuff happen, stars always so pretty. What? But stars here different, not the same ones Gonta used to. Uh, um... Different? Do you mean the position of the stars? Mm. Yeah, Gonta looking, but no can find star he remembers. Why? But why? Were we taken somewhere far away? Far away. Hey, so. Hey, let's all head back already. I'm wiped. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, hold on. I have something to tell you guys. You should just walk anyways. What now? Like I said, I'm wiped out. Now, now, it won't take that long, so just listen to what I have to say. Well, what is it? What do you have to say? Ahem. <coughs> Among us. Everyone just fucking beats the shit out of him. Everyone seems to be treating me like some kind of compulsive liar. How Have you seen this Shuichi person? Get it? He lies every trial. But that's ridiculous. There's a way worse liar than me in our group. If he says Shuichi, he's actually correct. Huh? Liar worse than you. <laughs> it's you, you dumb noises. <laughs> I'm talking about Maki. Huh? She hasn't even what? said enough lines to lie. What do you mean, Maki's a liar? Maki admitted during the class trial, remember? Ryoma wanted her to show him his motive video because he was looking for a reason to live. But that wasn't the whole story. Ryoma was blackmailing you, wasn't he, Maki? Huh? B -b blackmail? Ryoma just happened to discover Maki's true identity! So he used that to blackmail her. I bet he had something like... If you don't show me my motive video, I'll tell everyone what you really are! That's why Maki didn't want us to know she met with Ryoma. 
She wanted to keep her true identity a secret. That's why she kept quiet until the last minute. Anytime I hear the words true identity and Danganronpa, I start to get, like, skeaves. I'm like, oh no, stop it. Here comes, here comes Rukuro Ikasaba. Who are you? What shit are you making up now? Maki's true identity. What? <laughs> I've known Maki's true identity the whole time. For a moment there, I thought Maki disappeared. She moves so fast. You know, this is an interesting turn of events. But would you really... Me in front of Are we really getting a high papaya? Hey Maki, what the hell's going on? Hi goodbye. Yeah, you can probably step my neck like a twig right now. But that's not your style. Y you would rather kill from the shadows. Right? Miss Ultimate Assassin. Zappy! Didn't I say that? Yes, <laughs> like we all said that. It was yeah. so freaking up. <laughs> Okay. But, good call. I mean, I don't know, it's possible I got spoiled and then forgot, <laughs> and then subconsciously I remembered. We were just like, what could possibly be a reason that this character never wants to talk to anybody, is really edgy, and now oh, she's an assassin. Was okay. that Mukuro's talent, though? No, she was like ultimate military. M or mercenary or something? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, we got the serpent's gloves. Ah, thanks. We got her gloves. Ah, Mukuro well, not, not lost Ikus, uh, Ultimate Soldier. The 16th student. Hiding Watch somewhere out. within this school. Watch, Watch out, for, out her. for her. Uh, ultimate Soldier. That's what her ultimate title was. What you're seeing now is live footage of the sky from our camera at the scene. Damn Brad, I'll sue! You can clearly see the meteors raining down. We are witnessing what looks like the end of the world. Guess guess who else this is, by the way? Rigby. That's a little familiar. Who? Yep, it's Rigby. It's Rigby. Wait, Yoshida uh, and Rigby are the same. Or not oh, Yoshida. it's Yoshida. Not Yoshida. Uh, it's uh, damn Brad all Sue. Sh sh shid? Shido. Um, yeah. she Shido. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember that part where the fucking um, the the chairman of like the police agency or whatever dies and he starts he, he says like shido and then he cuts himself off as he's dying but it's not voice acted so it looks like he just goes shit shit uh, i was surprised when i found this out this the voice movie. it was the same guy as rigby this is not a movie this is live unedited footage this is real the sky is falling before our very eyes yeah a reporter would say this we've just been notified that the government has officially declared a state of emergency Subway stations have been opened as shelters. The government is instructing citizens to remain calm and evacuate to their nearest shelter. Children and invalids are to be given first priority. I swear to God, if the plot's like, oh, Junko Enoshima, the 16 year old high school girl, made meteors fall from the sky. <laughs> So mad. You say that, but also you can play Advance Wars Dual Strike, where you can have a girl who summons meteors from the fucking sky. It was the day after the second it's, trial. It's one thing if it's like an, a, a combat skill in a funny game. It's another thing if it's like the serious plot. Well, what if that's her combat skill? No yeah. Com can you imagine if they released like Danganronpa Tactica? <laughs> I would honestly be all for that. I think there is a lot of potential for like a Danganronpa Advance Wars crossover. Or if they did like a fighting game or something. That'd be the easy answer. Been in Smash. But honestly, as like an Advance Wars game, that'd be like perfect. I could see a lot of unique skills for all the characters and what they'd all be good at. I could see him as an assist trophy at best. Who? Monokuma. I'll pay money to see him as a character. Uh, yeah. Eh. Honestly, it wouldn't be that bad. It'd be a very interesting character. I'd be surprised, to say the least. I would have been surprised before fucking Minecraft Hee Haw no, Steve came out. Minecraft is like, I mean, Minecraft's like, it's know, one huge. Best selling games, right? Like, it's, it's but Danganronpa has three games, and it's also pretty huge in Japan. <laughs> it's not anywhere close to Minecraft. It's not Minecraft size, but you know, there's been like 
games that I would say are smaller than Danganronpa that I've gotten in. Sure. And a waiting there was an unexpected sight. Yeah, arms specifically. Come on, man. What the heck is this? It like weapon warehouse. Right. See, I told you she's not the ultimate child caregiver. She's the ultimate assassin. Maki is the ultimate assassin? Is that all right? Kokichi, you learned this from watching the Moda video, right? Monokuma said everyone's ultimate talent at the beginning of their video. Ryoma knew Maki's true identity because he had her motive video. Because you saw that. Mm -hmm. I knew the whole time, given my position. I'd obviously know before any of you, right? Your position? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. That was a lie! <laughs> anyway, her reaction yesterday pretty much gave away that she's the ultimate assassin. Yeah, you could probably snap my neck like a twig right now. I wish that was me. But that's not your style. You'd rather kill from the shadows. Right, Miss Ultimate Assassin? Fucking Spike Twin Sock. We just read this. Yeah, that's right. Well, it assumes you take breaks. <laughs> I thought this was a mistype. No, it's literally just him saying, why ever did she? Yeah. Fucking Yoda ass. But why ever did she lie about being the ultimate child caregiver? Because <laughs> assassins hide to do all their killing. Fucking summon fog, 40 evasion, except it goes to 80 evasion. Very fair and balanced. If people find out they're assassins, they get all cautious and they can't kill anyone. Did she hide her real identity because she was planning to kill us? Zappy. Hmm. But then why had she killed anyone yet? She had many opportunities to do so. Disappointed. Jeez, robots can't even understand human feelings, let alone a girl's oh, heart. Mood. Please take that back, what you just said. I can too understand human feelings. Listen closely. But I'm still in the process of collecting data. Please give me data. Please? Chat GPT. <laughs> if you're so worried, why don't you ask her? She's been holed up in her room all day. But I can't promise that she won't try to kill you like she tried to do to me. <laughs> Good thing everyone was there to stop her, but what about next time? Best let sleeping gods lie. <laughs> the talent of a killer? That is the biggest threat to all of us who wish to survive. Hey. Let's just lock her up somewhere so she can't kill anyone. I'll leave that to you, Gonta. Huh? But... I'll help too. I don't want another killing to happen. Wait, Wait you don't have to take it that far. It's not like she's trying to kill us. <laughs> A sneak attack is the way to go. We have to strike before she does. Hit her from behind. Um, sneak attack? Strike before she does? Should an Aikido master be saying those things? It'll be okay. If that's the case, then the two and I will work with everyone to uphold the peace. That's fine. If so, then I'll cheer you on. I'll use my magic to pull pom-poms out of my mouth. Wow! Wow, that kind of peppy cheer magic would make anyone excited. Don't worry about it. Hold on, guys. Leave Maki to me. I'll take down that mask of hers. <sighs> Ultimate assassin, my ass. Always messing around. Uh, Kaito, don't do anything stupid. Okay, okay let's leave everything to Kaito! Get it? Don't I? You should stand back. Nothing good ever happens when you try to help. Huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. What the fuck, Kokichi? Hey, Gonta. Like yeah, I told you, a man shouldn't apologize so easy. Need everyone's usual reaction times a bit. <laughs> That's right. No, yeah, there's a, there's a, there was, there was a, there was a little I bit of break up there. I yeah. didn't put a punctuation there. But Monokuma, this conversation is going. Shut low. the fuck up, Shuichi. Everyone, get behind Gunter. Himiko, get behind me. I'll surround you with my body to keep you safe. I Average just said I don't line. need your usual reactions! This conversation is going nowhere. I'm gonna kill you, Shuichi, if you read that button again! I know where you live! <laughs> it's almost half time, so the stats should be out soon for everyone to obsess over. Now then. And since you guys overcame the class trial, I figured I'd give you all a wonderful prize! Is it more Pause of the school? Perfect. 
I said I'd figure I'd give you all a wonderful prize. Oh, here, here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah! Woohoo! Shuichi's just like really excited. Come on, guys, get excited! A prize! Who died? K K K Kumuri or something? I don't care! Hmm. The Cubs aren't coming. That's strange. <laughs> oh god, it's so quiet. You're so cute today. It's <laughs> Yay! You're, you're cutting out of the chip. Yeah. Oh, good. How much of it did you get? We the start was like this. Yay! They're finally Jane, are here. are you downloading while you're doing this? Yay! You're so cute today. That's it's why. It's obscene. Seriously? Yeah, I'll put it on pause. Boom. Just wow! You guys are seriously cute! Have you always been this cute? Uh, the shock of my super cute kid seems to be making me go bald! Not super! Not super! No god! No! Yeah, real funny, man. He he's actually balding! <laughs> it would be so funny to edit that line to say he's actually balding! <laughs> Ugh, gross! Ugh, gross! <laughs> I'm cold. Very cold. Hey, my cute cubs. Could you hurry up and give them the prize? It's cold. I can't stand it. Hurry! I want to go somewhere warm. Ellipses. Ellipses. Oh, what's wrong? Why aren't you backing me up? Just to regrow all his hair. Father, we are not your slaves. We will not let you use us anymore. Huh? So then... From now on, I will be calling the shots. <laughs> He's gonna die. Good one. Kids, very funny. You can show me where the hidden cameras are now. That's old. Father, you're too old for this. You've been doing this for so long. You've become predictable. <laughs> It's the age of the Mono Cubs now. Out with the old, in with the new. What? What, what about all the long-term fans who... Anyway, you're just a has-been. Why don't you just retire somewhere and work on your tan? A has-been? Good job, you two. You perfectly memorized my script. Defy your dad? Do you think I'd forgive such? You were saying. Eek! Did you forget, father? Only we can pilot the exit zone. <coughs> I don't think this really matters. He has like a billion clones. <laughs> Thank you, father. But the academy is under our harmonious control now. Step aside, father. I'm really curious who Monadam's VA is. <laughs> It's a robot, obviously. No way! Are you saying that you treating you like kids like my property was wrong? You're the worst of the worst! It's completely and utterly wrong! No, no, no! 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 No, no, no! No way! Overprotective parents when their kids don't call them after 18. Me when I open new another line stream. Ugh, he is bald again. <laughs> What's that mean again? <laughs> whatever changes. Does he ever put on a wig? No, no, he doesn't. Although when he has his headphones on, it looks a little like. Anyways, it seems the shock made him bald. This time, for good. So then. Now then, as the new headmasters, we have for you bastards a wonderful prize. Uh, um, let's see what the prize is this time. Yeah, that's right. Woo! Yeah, keep talking, that's Shuichi. It. Yeah. Yes, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yes, that's it. Yeah. Yes, that's it. Yeah. Yes, that's it. I like this now. It's my character arc. We're giving away a golden hammer, a magic key, and a ninja scroll as a prize bundle. 
No, that's wrong. Never mind. Character arc undone. Fuck you. <laughs> Well, we know where the key goes. <clears throat> the scroll's pretty obvious, too. I had a feeling it was more junk. Oh man. oh, man. We didn't need more junk. We already had way too much anyway. And its name is Kibo. Now you've gone too far. Everyone, we can't allow this kind of intolerable language. No fighting. No Everyone fighting. has to get along. Use this prize to explore the new areas together. No, no, Matadam. Say it correct. Okay. Here you go, Shuichi. Everyone else, fuck off. Actually... Also, we've hidden another flashback light somewhere, too. Yay. I hope you all grow even closer now that you've regained more of your memories. So long. Farewell. It's so quiet now. Hmm. These cubs suck. Monokuma was way better. <laughs> Everyone who played Dagarumpa 3. <laughs> Damn it. I've got too much pride as a human to let those robots push me around. There will be a better place if robots didn't exist. They should all be destroyed. I've recorded your intolerant remarks and will report them to the proper authorities. Hey, so when there's an HR oh, department. what are we gonna do? If we use this junk, we can open up new places, Whoa! but... Yay, a new area means we can all have more fun. Uh, I don't know if we'll have that much fun. I find myself more interested in the flashback light. Perhaps we'll call the school's secret. Okay. If that's the case, then let's go deal with the murder girl later. You know, in that pose, Kirk Hugh looks like he's trying to like, like he's a he's a girl trying to like make her like boobs more visible. I guess that is what he's doing. Who? Uh, hey, uh, hey, bro, I'll uh, leave this one to you again. Uh, do a good job, all right. I just realized in the background that those are like targets for targets? like shooting. Yeah. Yep. yep. Does she have a gun? I, she has many guns. <laughs> They're all around the room. Are there guns in this room? I mean, I don't know if they work. <laughs> that that would they... give her one hell of an advantage. I mean, anyone could take a gun. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah those well, are guns. Those those are fucking guns. I mean, they, maybe they have, like, shitty pellets that don't actually work. If you know. find a dangerous place, come get Gonta. Gonta will protect you. Yeah, all that aside, what are we gonna do with this thing? <laughs> this conversation is going nowhere. Um, let's just leave him here. Ah, I suppose I should go try out those items around the school like last time. You think so? <laughs> I'm not gonna bother. Yo! I'll leave this one to you again. Do a good job, alright? Okay. Uh, well, I don't mind, but... Hmm? You don't mind, but no. what? No, it's just that when we were talking about Maki, you looked really upset. Ah, well, yeah, I can't believe she's an assassin. Well, that's... I mean, I can't believe it either. She doesn't look like she could be some kind of terrifying assassin. Ha, <laughs> terrifying, huh? Don't worry about it. Either way, leave Maki to me. I'll take down that mask of hers. I feel like characters and stories always get, like, unnecessarily, like, freaked out over assassins. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, they can kill. Just, just be, like, friendly. <laughs> it's like, you, you don't have to freak the fuck out. Yeah. A lot of different weapons up here. Maki has handled all these. Does he comment on any of the guns? He does. Whoa. I exclaimed in awe the sheer number of guns lined up. They can't all be real. No, of course they aren't real. They're all they're yeah. soft guns. Of course, Monokum wouldn't give us real weapons. Exosols may be stronger, but if we were to revolt with real guns, Monokum would never allow that. These weapons are real, and if Kurumi were here, she might have taken us all out in order to escape for her people. 
The hidden Monokumas this chapter are all over the goddamn place. Great. We'll find them all. Are any of them inside the court, uh, the trial again? Yes, there's always one inside of a trial. Okie dokie. Ah, Angie surprise Angie. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> the new area opens up, that means more fun for everyone. Atu and I will cooperate so everyone can have a super fun school life. Atua sees everything, even what everyone truly desires. What everyone truly desires. Maybe. That's right, Atua is always watching over me. She did the uh, fire emblem, maybe. <laughs> That's Tua for you. He's so divine. I feel like Angie's getting more and more creepy. What do you mean I'd kill someone? Haha. <laughs> well, what gee, make Angie? it as obvious as po possible. Hi, Korokio. Humanity is beautiful. Every part of every human being, even their ugly side, is beautiful. There's no limit to beauty, especially you, Suichi. Kurumi, she too had her own exceptional beauty. Excellent. A crime that was bold yet calculated. A battle against the truth. Brutally killing each other for her own beliefs. Unfeelingly sacrificing the few for the many. Wonderful. And her attachment to life and her determination to live. Her attempt to escape was so very ugly. It was pathetic, pitiful, wretched. But it was beautiful. i never before seen such beauty in a human being. <laughs> I have no idea what Kia's talking about, but in my own way, I also have Kermie's last moments burned into my mind. <clears throat> I will live! Hey, Shuichi, uh, did Kyo just kiss your nape? Uh, uh no, he naped my kiss. Oh, okay. That's normal, then. Ah, <sighs> too much is happening all at once. It's just too much for me. Ryoma's case was a shock, but then to find out Kurumi ran the country and Maki's an assassin, it's all a little contrived. An average citizen like me can't keep up. I'm not sure the ultimate cosplayer can be considered average. But I'm glad I'm an average citizen. If I ever had a reason to live as strong as Kurumi's, or if I ever lost everything important to me like Ryoma did, if anything like that happened, I probably would have just cowered in a corner somewhere. Putting aside whether what Kurumi or Ryoma did was right or wrong, I think it's amazing they were even able to do anything at all. For people like them to die in this place. It's just not fair. Uh, where we go, Gonto? Hmm. Uh, Gonto, what's wrong? Oh, sorry. Gonto think he see bug. Uh, okay. Yeah, you said that before. Is it a bug that you can barely see? Mm. Yeah. Gonto feel like he can see it sometimes, but Gonto can barely see it. It probably must. Ah, uh, he's getting cataracts. Because Gonta wish there were bugs here, so Gonta just mistake dust for them. Is that really the case? We're going to make that mistake more than once. Gunta. Or it's schizophrenia. Anyway, if you find dangerous area, come get Gonta. Gonta will protect you. I know he means well, but I'm hesitant to ask him to be a shield. Click. Wow, this is just like Persona 4, huh, Shuichi? Ba dump, ba dump, ba dump. My favorite Persona 4 character is the Dodger. The door collapsed. It looks like we can get into the back now. Uh, oh shit, Shuichi, I mean nothing. What, I wonder is beyond here? Perhaps someone awaits us? Huh? You think? Merely a jest. Yes, this world is full of jests. Yeah, we all know Mukuro Ikasaba's back there. A world full of jests, I suppose that's true. <clears throat> Staircase. We can go to the fourth floor now. Uh, I wonder what the upper floors are like. There's nothing dangerous, right? Or it's is okay. there? Don't worry. Gonta will protect you no matter Thank what. You. Thanks, Gonta. That's reassuring. A tuxedo and a mask would suit you, like Persona 5. Hey, I actually got this one. It's not a Persona 5 reference. It's a, uh... It's a Sailor Moon reference. She's calling him useless because of tuxedo mask. Um, yep. Mm hmm? Tuxedo's essential for gentlemen, but mask well, too? I should go. No, no, everything's a Persona 5 reference, Shuichi, especially jazz music. Was yeah, Persona 5 out John? when this game came out? Yes. Uh, yeah. Was it? Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, that's year. right. Fucking this song. Oh, it's like Corpse Party, Shuichi. 
Is this the song that you always play when that one fucking yes. asshole is... Yes, this was the song. The frightening atmosphere was so oppressive, I let out a shout without realizing it. What is going on here? It's so powerful, it can't even, like, be changed by the Monokumas. So, um, this is a made-up story, but a brutal murder supposedly took place here. Please stop. If I hear any scary stories, I won't be able to go to the bathroom oh. alone. Oh, but she say it made up story. That means it okay, right? So long. <laughs> That's all they came to say. <laughs> yeah, but now you get to enjoy this music again. That's right, Shuichi. Bob that head. He bob his head a lot. I always forgot what this song was, but then I was like, oh wait, now I remember. Hey, hey so I'm just checking, but uh, this is a school, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, at least that's what Monokuma said. This floor doesn't seem very schooly at all, though, no. does it? I'm not sure what you mean by that. Actually, I mean, this floor's atmosphere is completely different, like it's a whole other building. Making a building like this must have taken a lot of money and work. So Mugi is like if you took Yukiko, but removed anything funny or neat about her, and then just made, like, what you imagine Yukiko would be like if you just saw her by a glance. Uh, fuck you, I think, Shuichi? And all the research labs are amazing. How much money was put into this school? And it was all built just for us. You're right. They did mention that the labs were there so they could develop our talent. You research your talent perfect to perfect it. It's kind of like a school, isn't it? Then Monokuma really wants this to be a school where ultimates gather? Yeah, at the same time, they're trapping us here and making us kill each other for no reason. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. We were brought here and then forced to do the killing game. Um, I don't understand at all. My plain mind has hit its limit. What on earth is this academy for gifted juveniles? I'm happy now. Um... This area feels spooky. Gonta scared, too. <laughs> it's okay. The murder story was just made up. Not just story. Gonta just have weird feeling. Hmm. Maybe stain on that wall over there is blood. Oh. It's just a stain. It's probably just staged, you know? Staged? Monokuma or the Monocopes probably just put it there to scare us. Huh? Really? So the script has been flipped uh, now, huh? Um... So, Mugi, does this kind of stuff bother you? Well, it's not that I'm okay with it. It's just when it's so overdone like this, it makes it seem fake. So, I, I feel okay. But, Gonta, you were so reliable until just now. I guess it's too early for you to wear a tuxedo and mask. Huh? Oh, eh? No, no! But tuxedo's essential for gentlemen! These two would be fun together. Left room. Oh. What? What? Candle's just barely lit in a dim, dusty room. I thought we were gonna get to talk to the old monokids, but as they're ghosts. This is creepy. Might. Hard to see, too. It seems like something that would appear in an occult manga. There's a tragic feeling here. It really does feel like something's gonna pop out at you. Nothing here. What is room for, anyway? Turn on your investigation vision. Um. Even though I said all that, it seems like something is going to jump out after all. This feels like one of those old abandoned asylums full of lunatics or criminals. To the point that I'd half expect to see a corpse bust burst through a wall and chase us. Say a go or not second out that phasmophobia. Sorry, that's not something to joke about. I hate phasmophobia. Okay, no, I thought uh Wait, 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 no, I see a shadow in the back. Turn turn the camera. Huh? There are no windows here. They get pitch black if candles go out. Ah, uh, please don't put them out. I don't really like well. the dark. I can't imagine many people do. I think that's just the wall. I, I, I swear there's like a little shadow back there. 
Maybe it's like the screen share being weird. The floor is examinable. Ah, so it is. Oh! Floorboards feel a bit unstable. Oh, this floorboard got no nails in it! Huh? Uh, really? Hmm. Yeah, floorboard just resting on top of cross That's piece. True. I suppose it's not just my imagination. What? But each floorboard is thick, and they got no gap between them, so it look okay. Go to not worry about falling through floor all of a sudden. But it's pretty dark here. It's a little hard to see where we're <clears> stepping. <throat> and in the corner, there's a hole in the floor, so it might not be good to go over there. Hey, Shuichi, go check out the corner. <laughs> Doesn't look like there's anything important in here. Just an empty room. Oh! Oh! This not only empty room, you see three same doors in hallway, right? All those rooms empty, just like this one. And they only got candles for light, too. So there are three of them. Anyway, we no gotta worry. No reason we ever need to use empty room like right. this. Um, True. Then, can we leave soon? The darkness and the shaky floor are making me nervous. It's only a matter of time before the shutters burst open and a newspaper gets blown out. But there's no windows. And any reason to waste time in an empty room. What if there's three people who die and one's put into each room? Ah, uh, that'd be crazy. Are there three? I think that there are three other rooms. Is there just three rooms total? Yeah, there's yeah. three total. Interesting. <clears throat> <laughs> That's funny. I guess when you uh, become bald, you really do die inside. I don't know. NL seems pretty lively. Yeah, he's got a baby to bring back into That's him. That's his name. I tried to think of that fucker's name like yeah, ten minutes ago, and I couldn't. You 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 just got fucking um wily coyote. Yeah. Look at that. I think that's an item later you use and that becomes like a thing. I'm guessing that this is uh my boyfriend's room. I, I was thinking it might be Angie's. Ah, anthropologist. Wait, anthropologist. Oh, no, no, yeah, yeah, that is simple. It's almost like a museum or a library. It's huge and a little eerie. There are various objects stored in shelves and cases. Some of them are very rare. <laughs> you would appear this is my lab. The ultimate anthropologist lab. Wonderful. It's so wonderful. My face contorts with glee. Not even every university labs are so well stocked. But who bought all this stuff here? I suppose there's no point thinking about it. I don't know, this place makes sense. Wonderful. Truly amazing. Having all this to myself gives me some complicated feelings as I am a researcher. <clears throat> Book displayed. Bookcases were full of books. This one looks like it was bound by hand. Can it truly be? I like his usual quiet self. Kyu shouted and ran over at me with an alarm expression. With steady, careful hands, he took the book from its showcase. Incredible. It is. How amazing. It's actually real. Um... What is this book, Kyo? Uh, it's an extremely precious document. Do you understand? This book is a history of the fabled Cage Dog Village, said to have been destroyed long ago. Cage Dog Village. Yes. The Cage Dog Village had a reputation for many dark arts and spells. The village was destroyed at the hands of a feudal lord who feuded their power. But one girl, the lone survivor, risked her life to write this book. Wonderful. Which means this is all her handwriting. Spoken an extremely precious, one of a kind relic that's been soaked in her bitter grudge. Hmm. One of a kind. That is valuable. See, yes. On top of that, since the book has such a reputation, there are few copies. Since I was fortunate enough to obtain one of those copies, I've already memorized it. But I never thought I'd be able to lay eyes on the real one. What a trick of fate. Uh, um... uh, <clears throat> Kia, what do you mean by reputation? Yes. Rumor goes that the spells and dark arts inscribed in this book are extremely potent. They surpassed the comprehension of people who live in a world of science and technology. That is why it was buried to the darkness, along with the entire caged dog village. 
but it seems those were mere, no mere rumors. I can feel power seeping out of this book. The deep-seated grudge of a girl whose village was destroyed permeates every letter. This is getting weird. I think I should just end this conversation. I don't have much comment. <laughs> just a guy being excited about something. Sure. It's a golden katana. How beautiful. Does oh, it allow like you to draw two cards? From 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 uh one one. Mmm. It's rusted in places, but it looks about a yard long and still sharp. Because that actually had gold dust on it, too, right? Yeah. I forgot he killed her with a katana. It's well, I think valuable. she tried to kill him with it, but then he... I don't know if he actually used it back on her. I think he did. Okay. Yeah, I think he did. You were drawn to the katana, I see. However, it's mainly coated with gold leaf. <clears throat> ah, so it's not made of gold. It's said that katana has immense anthropological value. In certain rural areas, katanas used to defeat generals in war who worshipped as gods. This is one such katana. It's an extremely precious relic necessary to spread. <laughs> Whoa, that super red looking katana I want to see. Kokichi suddenly popped up between us and grabbed the katana from his case. You just see Kyo do the exact same thing that Maki did yesterday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, you mustn't touch it without... Don't worry, I'll be super careful with it. Would I lie to you? Kokichi completely ignored Kyo's warning and then cheat the sword. Now this katana's a real deal, but it's even gold-plated for that authentic look. Yeah. Hmm, I see. I could. It could also be used as a murder weapon. Uh-huh. Hold on. Kokichi, that is an extremely precious relic. Please do not treat it lightly or... Okay, I get it. Please don't make such scary threats. What does that even mean? Kokichi slid the sword back into its sheath and handed it to Kyo. I'm gonna rip out your nervous system. That's what it means. It is absolutely the thing from the first. Ew, my hands are all sticky. That gold plating flakes off so easily. Although the first game, like, it wasn't a real katana in the first game. But I guess that's what makes it an authentic katana. Yes, it's very old, so the gold leaf comes off easily. In any event, please do not touch things without permission. These are all precious relics. I get it. These scary threats are really not necessary. So that's what Kia sounds like when he gets angry. I think oh, wait, I should have already, already known that. that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You haven't you have heard him angry before. Some kind of strange power to it. Makes me shiver just looking at this dog statue. That's... <laughs> I never could have dreamed that this truly existed. It's a figure eight of Clifford. Kyo, quivering with excitement, reached out to that peculiar dog statue and slowly removed the white fabric on the pedestal. Can this be? Oh, there's even a cage. This is perfect. Perfect for what? What's a statue and cage for? I never thought I'd be able to touch the real thing in all my life. Today is a momentous day indeed. He's so focused, he's not even listening. Those are the only thing I've learned is that I've learned nothing about this lab. Listen. By the way, Shuichi, would you like to lend your ear to the voices of the dead? Are you offering me to sex again? Huh? Do you understand? The Cage Dog Village documents contain many dark arts unique to that village. Of all of them, the one I find the most interesting is a seance called the Cage Child. Yes. In fact, the wooden dog statues and iron cage over there are to be used in this very seance. To discover it exists is surprising enough, but to actually have it before me? So would you like to try it? Let us converse with the dead using the caged child, shall we? No. No thanks. I don't think I have any interest in what you just said. Now, now, you mustn't dismiss it as simply the occult. Some matters you refer to as a cult are of the utmost importance to anthropology. Dismissing things you don't understand of an occult is a defilement of all cultures, yes? No. Ah, uh, yeah, but talking to the Say. dead. Haven't you ever wanted to speak with the dead? Huh? Huh? Speak with the dead. If it were possible, I suppose, I'd like to talk to her one more. No. No. No, I decline. Okay. Even if it were possible to speak with the dead, I don't have anything to say. Not yet. But All I think I'd want to say Bader is Ginsburg. we escaped. Someday. We finally got out of here. <laughs> that determination is beautiful. Perhaps you are correct. Calling out the dead out of curiosity would only be blasphemy. Forgive me. We must I only call them myself. 
at an appropriate time. I felt a shiver up my spine. They just like try to talk to Kaede at the end and it's just the Monokuma ghost. <coughs> yeah. Hey guys! How's it Why going? What's that up there? That's true. I don't think I could read all these in a, if I had a million years. This song is a bop. Yeah, it's good. I'll remember that when I bring it back for the campaign. Is that character coming back? In a different Probably. way. All of them are coming back, but in different ways. What is this? It's like hanging a scroll, but it's blank. Um, that's probably not a later chapter item or something. Yeah. And this would be Anji's. Okay. This would be Anji's. It's a door to an ultimate lab. From the look of it, it says it's for art. I should investigate a little. Grab the Renama and turned it. Hmm. It's locked? Ah! Actual Kokichi jump scare. Yep. Seems like it. Guess we can't go in. Who do you get to jump scare you? Nagito? Why is it locked? The other ultimate labs weren't locked. Ah. Oh, by the way, this lab has some kind of rear entrance at the end of the hallway. But that was locked, too. Yeah, I checked it first. Uh, um, Both the yeah, doors Yeah, well, the game didn't expect you to, weirdo. How are we gonna go back to get inside? <laughs> Don't give up just yet, because I have a secret technique. As if on cue, we heard them tap click of a lock opening, and the door slowly opened. I'm psychic. Yeah. Can I help you? Hmm. Ninja, you were in here? I feel weird chatting out here, so let's all go inside already. How pushy. Come in, come in, please come in. Ever polite, Angie invited us into the lab anyway. And this is where we learned that she has a thing for painting nude statues. Yay. No. Not yet. Their various art and carving tools make sense for the Ultimate Artist Lab. But why does this lab have locks? He said this classroom was probably made for me. What does that mean? It has locks to, uh, no disturbances, obviously. I will answer that with my sexy, beautiful voice! Well, wait a second. We said I was gonna answer that question. No, we didn't. Is your memory getting even worse, Monotaro? Yeah, Monofani is not long for this world. She's starting to slip. I'm gaslighting you. Go You boss. promised, because I don't remember you not no! promising. That doesn't make any sense! So what? Just let me do it. If you don't, I'll stick my hand up your butt. And then shove it in your mouth and rattle your molars around. No, ah, that's unsanitary. Oh, my way, Mono Dom. Oh, you weren't fighting. We were just messing around, you know, because we're friends. I always say these things to my friends. It's fine, as long as you're getting along. Uh, so what's up with the key? Oh, yes. Anji's the kind of girl who can't focus on her art unless she's alone. Maybe. Maybe. I must shout out all the other people and noises so I can be one with the great Atua. Yeah. Atua's too shy to be one with me in front of other people. Wow, like a porn star. <laughs> How? It's the opposite. So any room where I'm going to have to make our needs to have a key, but I'm not surprised the Monocups knew that. Huh? And these are my favorite art supplies and sculpting tools, too. How'd you know? Um, um what should I say? I'm not a good improviser. C calm down, I'm even worse. We know everything about you, bastards. We are all friends. Because we want to be your friends. Like that. I don't want to be friends with you. I'm only interested in Monokuma. I don't want to get friendly with knockoff products. 
Why would you say that? Why do you hate me? Just push Kokichi in front of the next uh, assassination <laughs> instead. I won't forgive anyone who refuses to get along with me. No, no, Monotem. We haven't given them the key to this room, have we? Okay, here it is. But there's only one key, so don't okay. lose it. It'd be bad if you lost it. You wouldn't be able to lock the door or open it from the outside. So then... Let me see that key. Monodom swiped the key from Monofani and then lifted it to his mouth. Nom. nom. Ah, he ate it! Nom, nom. Gulp. He swallowed it! Beep, beep, beep. Is he shitting out a, uh... Ah, he's bloodletting! A copy? Uh -oh. Duplicate? What are you doing? If you swallow that key, you'll definitely choke on it! Someone might use this key for murder. <laughs> because keys are mysterious. If something bad happens, it would be too late. I want everyone to get along. Monotom, you sure are reckless. Let's carry Monotom away for now. Bless you. We'll carry him like a kind boss taking care of a drunk employee. By bringing her back to my apartment. Uh oh. So what does that mean? We can't get the key. What the hell? Uh, but I'm only gonna lock this door when I'm inside working, so I don't care if I can't if I can't open or close the door from the outside. I guess that's fine then. Uh, those guys said they know everything about us, right? That's probably why this lab fits Angie's taste so well. Does that mean this school was specifically made for us? But... Monokuma's claimed that before, but is that really even possible? This giant complex was built just for the 16 of us? It's a miraculous mystery that only Atua knows, but it doesn't matter. As long as it's comfortable, I'm fine. If our lives here become more enriched, then there's even less reason to leave this place. <laughs> That's true! I was supposed to be okay with that. I wonder how much yassification art there is of Kokichi. Oh, it's gotta be so much. Whatification? <laughs> <laughs> what you is this heap of stuff? It doesn't look like wood or stone. I, I didn't hear what he said. Y yassification. Oh, this is wax for making wax sculptures. Hmm. I can make some new. Hmm. I can be happy. Yeah, you can make those, Angie? Yeah. yeah. I like wood or stone wax is a soft texture for sculpting. Oh, oh but it is the one who's going to be doing the sculpting. Okay. I see. But, but... It seems like people have been making wax sculptures for a long time. In ancient times, death masks used to be made from wax. A wax death mask. That's kind of scary. Is that a ladder or a step ladder? What are you doing, step ladder? <laughs> Such really a funny reference followed by a really stupid joke. Uh, you know, I saw a screenshot from the new Spike Tunes off game, uh, minor spoilers, uh, where yeah. they show um, a ladder like that, and the main Where'd character that come asks, out? "Yeah, it did. came out June 30th." And the main character asks, "Is that a ladder or a step ladder?" Nice. I should buy that. Yeah, I, I, I was gonna. I don't know if we're gonna do an LP of it or not. I'm probably at least gonna wait until we're done with this game. I'd be down for I'm, al I'm always ahead of you guys, you know, that's like the It thing. would be cool if for once you also weren't, though. Yeah, but with Ross, I'd have to wait like, you know, like five months at the minimum. It's not that bad. Ooh, it might be on sale. The ceiling here is pretty unique. You're right. Yeah, some exposed beans. Mm, I wonder. Is it supposed to be like this, or did they not finish it in time? Those cheap knockoffs are useless, like that time they mixed up the cub pads. I don't care. This kind of bare ceiling doesn't bother me. Even the Tua says it's more sensitive when the skin's peeled back. What is the Master Edition? Oh, it comes with all the DLC. Oh god, there's DLC. <laughs> I see, I see. There's an easel, brushes, and all kinds of art supplies here. Sculpting tools, chisels, and a wooden hammer. What a divine collection of tools. These are all my favorites. So I can make sure to use them, even if I don't have access to deep sea. Not that I would want to go on deep sea. Did you hear what happened lately? Fuck. Uh, um. 
I actually mentioned it. I don't have any completed pieces in here. I would expect an art room to have sculptures and replica paintings and things like that. I don't need references when Atua is the one who creates the art. From now on, this place will be filled with my collaborations with Atua. What else is there to... I guess the back door? Stores and the one we used to come in. This door is super crappy. I'm guessing it's the rear entrance. Also, apparently the handle is like phallic or something because it's censored. <laughs> See? See, kind of... it's got a sliding lock just slapped on here. Right. And the door we used. Yeah. Yeah, that door has a knob on this, like a cylinder lock. The same classroom has two different kinds of locks for the doors. That's mildly infuriating. No, no. It's perfect that they're not the same. Uh... Symmetry is a Western beauty ideal. They like symmetry and the golden ratio and such. Uh, yeah. But I think asymmetry and partition functions are more beautiful. <laughs> well, I don't really get it, but I suppose that makes sense. Besides, this is a Japanese game, so they use the silver uh, ratio. <laughs> As, as we learned in the last Persona 5 session. Okay, I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick while you find the next locale. Yes. I don't think there's anything more to see. I think I have to double back Well, now. like the next item place, I mean. Yeah. Monetary. I'm buying, I'm buying Code Rain. How much does it cost? The typical, but I'm buying the Deluxe Edition. 90 bucks? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm waiting but for I a have, sale. Uh, I have apparently... Uh, a fuck ton of saved up points, so I'm just using them. Can you use those on Steam? Oh, right, it's it's only on Switch, right? It's a Switch game right now. Yeah, especially That's I'm gonna wait for so it to become a to Steam LP. game. Yeah, I'm the especially only way waiting. We're LPing that is if, uh, I can know. record a Switch game, but I can't do a co-op recording of a Switch game exactly. that easily. It'll come to Steam eventually. I hope. Mm -hmm. It came with an art book and a soundtrack on the Switch. I wonder how that works. Mm, just, you know. Uh, I know where the scroll goes, but I don't remember where the hammers use. Do what about the ultimate maid lab? You can't go in there. I have returned. I tried entering Karumi's oh, lab. Did you go into the Karumi! room, though? But couldn't. If you can, there's a hidden Monokuma in there. Where? In there. In the piano lab? Yeah, yeah. but you can't go in there till free time. Okay. Uh, but I know where the ninja scroll goes, but I don't know about the hammer. And I think you can guess where the ninja scroll goes, so... Not really, yeah. I don't remember everything in the fucking building. It goes outside. Well. I that explains that. No. Bad. Surely Bad something, can, no. so, right. surely right. something right. can open there. <laughs> Was there anything in the basement? No. Aw, oh, we don't get to see our hallway boyfriend. No hallway boyfriend for us. Badge. Click. Uh-oh. Fear plants him before. Maintenance must be progressing well. I knew it. It's becoming more and more beautiful. Just like me. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, you just made Himiko angry. Someone like you wouldn't know this, but this is Himiko when she's mad. 
No, I was just <laughs> blushing. What? From your own compliment? Himiko, your expression doesn't change much, so it's kind of hard to tell what you're feeling. What a pain. Changing expressions is a pain. It's best character. It's the only reason you don't do it. You know what? Can we, can we do her support? <laughs> She's nah, just like a slowpoke personified. Slightly uh, psychic, you... and then like just dopey so, as hell. You could do Himikos, but you can't do all of them. Mm. Yeah. Crawling in your back. Oh, whoa. That's another hidden Monokuma later. Okay. Where else? I would just wait till the free time to look for them. Probably. Oh, he can't get any of them right now. Yeah. Uh, but oh, but one of the, the scroll, hidden objects. Oh, the scroll probably goes in like by the Goemon reference, right? Oh yeah. yeah. Actually, wouldn't the Goemon reference be that? No, Goemon doesn't use a hammer. That's Ebisumaru. It might not be on the Goemon statue, but like on one of the nearby ones for sure. Oh, there's only the one. Okay. Yeah. Did you know they added Goemon to uh, Smash Remix? What's Smash Remix? It's the original uh, N64 Smash uh, with a shit ton of updates and oh, cool stuff cool. to it. It's really fucking cool, actually. Might check that out. They also just added huh? Peppy from <laughs> Star Fox. Okay. A building. What kind of technology makes a building suddenly appear? Wow! Hiya! It's not just any building, it's a dojo, so it doesn't matter how it appeared. Right. Like I wouldn't care if a chef came by car or train as long as they made me good food. Is that really the same? I'm over here now. Uh, that's a ninja technique if I've ever seen one. Neo Aikido. Yeah. Can I hammer Harry, something Harry over here? Thrust. Body blow. Body blow. Uppercut. Hadouken. Yeah, let's do it. No, that's, that's no. That's well, I think right. I found one. That's, there's one. That no. one's like fucking impossible to miss. You no. have to walk over there. No oh, man. It's magic. This is my magic, too. No. No, I, I used an item on the statue. Magic. It's my magic. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. Yes, a dojo. No school is complete without a dojo. Now let's go. Joe. Joe. Oh, Shuichi, you can decline. I'd actually prefer it since you're a degenerate and all. Okay. I'm happy now. It must be an ultimate research lab from the look of the building. It's Ow. the ultimate Aikido Master's lab. I'm sure of it. Well, all right, let's go inside. Don't be shy, Himiko. Ladies what first. Mm, what a pain. Pushing Himiko along, Tenko stepped inside the building. That's true. I suppose I'll check inside too. This is extra. Is that oh, a bottomless like, fucking pit? This, this is like the uh, the Chow Karate in Sonic Adventure too. This is a huge dojo. The tatami mats are new. They smell nice. Oh, it's a uh, wooden impachi. What is this? It's a large doll made of wood. Wait, is that a doll? Is this supposed to watch over and protect us? Damn it! See, this is my lab, you jerk. Why are you angry? I'm so happy I just can't contain my emotions, like an excited dog that just pees everywhere. Or Dalton's dog who just shits on my the floor of the basement. I do that too. <laughs> who doesn't when they're excited? An emotional roller coaster, the complete opposite of Himiko. I'll do that when wow. I'm excited at your house, Ross. This is such a nice dojo. Please don't. I'm sure sparring will be incredible here. But... Without a sparring partner. Slam. That's what a slam sound effect sounds like. Yeah. What was that for? Ow, ow, ow! Why are you throwing me? Neo Aikido is a super serious martial art. Instead of training, we just fight head on. Now, Himiko, aim for the heart. You're going to start with that? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wait. It was a prank, bro. This is just kidding. 
Why did you just go straight into actual fighting? You don't have a lot of confidence in yourself, do you, Shuichi? Okay, that was a little uncalled for, what? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You lack self-esteem, and because of that, you doubt your strengths. You seem more confident than before, but I can tell you still question yourself. Right. Well, I'm right, aren't I? I can tell when my sparring partner is burdened by doubt. Okay. Uh, you might be right. Listen up. You know what works real good at lifting all that doubt? Neo Aikido. Because Aikido itself is a Japanese martial art that treasures a pure heart above all else. Himiko. How about you, Himiko? Mm -hmm. uh. right. We combine your magic with my Neo Aikido, then we'd be able to solve things by force. By force? I thought this was about being pure of heart. I don't want to do any exercise. It's too much of a... <laughs> Baby crying. He has big hands. I see. It seems you are still too shy to show your emotions, Himiko. What a waste. You have the richest heart of all. That's right. You should do Neo Aikido, Himiko. Training your body will help you express your emotions. Now come sweat with me, and afterward we'll hit the showers together. Mm, my back. I feel like turning you into a gross frog with my magic now. Counterspell. Oh. You're angry, I can see it in your heart. Okay. Even I can see that. My back hurts. If you do that again, I'll definitely turn you into a gross frog. But right now, I have to use all my magic to fix my back. Listen up. I will tell you the secret of Aikido. Aikido is not about competing for fun to see each other's strengths and weaknesses. By working together and using techniques that make full use of your mind, body, and breath, you can measure your physical and mental growth. That is the true purpose of Aikido. You do not compete for superiority in Aikido. In fact, in Aikido, you do not compete at all. Aikido is not a martial art for inflicting harm, but a way to improve yourself. <laughs> what do you think? Pretty amazing, right? Sounds like a good creed, but I still got thrown. There's a scaffold suspended in the air with chains. This is some kind of jump training. It's like a kung fu movie. Where's uh, um, where's Samugi where, when you need her? Is this a pillar? Why is this here? Hmm. I think that's probably it. Yeah, that's it. I, you're gonna have to. Good luck with the Does hammer. Samugi unless you want like me to look it up. kung fu movies. Well, she she references a bunch of shit. Oh, that's a movie. I thought I was thinking of the Samugi from Kaon. She probably watches kung fu movies. I mean, she have you seen like that flex pose she does? Oh, I mean, come on, what's the big deal? I can't hold back any longer. No, no, it's too soon. I'm not ready for that. Shouldn't should we just walk away from this conversation? Yeah. I won't make things worse, and you'll probably feel a lot better. Take this relationship to the next level, please. But Miu, he shouldn't. It'll be fine, just come with me. We'll do it together. Ah, well, that's none of my business. Well, Kiba's arm, Miu made her way to the Ultimate Adventures uh, Lab. Um... What was that? I just felt like something I wasn't supposed to see. I should check on what's going on just in case. I think it's I think it's gonna be a fake out where it's just her like upgrading his robot capa capabilities. That would be nice. Really just in time for him out. to die this chapter. <laughs> I mean, because it's implied to be like. Oh well, yeah, but we all know he's a robot. Careful not to make a sound. I opened the door and peeked inside. I heard a strange Fucking sound. Fucking I'm sure we do over here. When I looked for a source of the sound, my eyes were met with an unbelievable sight. Come on, really? Man, you're really up. I don't. No, I, I don't want to hear this. At least you don't have to. You don't have to. At least voice I don't it. have to read it. You're right. With dust and that yeah. Let me just uh, put this on auto so I can uh, hold my this orange juice. No no and be You must be so pent up. What? I apologize. I've been neglecting my needs ever since I got here. Relax. I'll get it all out. I fucking hate this Trust game. I just like really hate Spike Chun Soft. <laughs> I love Spike oh, Chun Soft. Uh, thank you. Oh yeah, 
Every time I see shit like this, I, I think just, of that one I comment that's like, the no, the pervy stuff coffee. is the best part of the Spike Chunsoft games. Your body is seriously incredible. The joke, like, if you're gonna do it, do like two lines. If you're gonna do it, actually just make it porn. No, don't! Coward. I mean, if this was a porn game, I wouldn't have any problem. I, at least I win in knowing exactly what to expect. How fucking long is this? Shut the fuck up. It's just, it's just the whole thing. I'm gonna go refill my water. I think it's over. <laughs> Never mind, it's not over. That's the sound you make when I touch that spot. Good to know. Okay. I no, closed the door over. without a word. See, look, it's Suichi's you guys. He was just doing some maintenance on Kibo's body. That's all it was. Indeed, nothing but that. Where's the nearest ledge? I'm back. Did Miu die yet? Uh, no. Uh, Shuichi just shut the door and he said... Oh, no, she's just doing some... Oh, okay, okay. I cast... I cast... I cast Fireball at Miu. She dies. I counterspell it. No, what the fuck? Jaden! Uh... Just cast it at higher level. He probably used oh, a higher level. I counterspelled it at ninth level. You piece of shit. You wasted your one ninth level spell slot in counterspelling. I'm uh, sorry, this is a Jaden made enemy. They have more than one. Oh, yeah, that's why a fair point. Why didn't I take Mage Slayer? God damn it. I never take Mage Slayer. And then it's. And then I. Yeah. Uh, Dorkos is a really good go. Mage Slayer. Uh. Fuck, where do I take this hammer into my head, I guess? That'll send me to the next level. Well, it's up the basement. We know that. You surround Gota's lab. Oh, nice. I, for a second, I thought it said, this is the boys' I bathroom. I also thought it said that. So where's Gota's lab's on two or three? Uh... His is in a hidden area. Yeah, but it's not on this floor. Right. Well, I'll just run into the circles until Jaden tells no, me exactly the, where to just go. Just go up the stairs. Just go up the stairs. He said it's by Gonta's lab. Oh, is it? All right. Yeah. Yes. I did say I that. That's where I checked. Is Gonta this way? I, I don't. I don't remember where like any of them are. Yeah, that is Gonto's. Hmm. Maybe it's like up the stairs from here? Hmm. I haven't found our hyper realistic chest icon yet, so. We'll get there. So, did you read something that says it's by Gonto's lab, Jaden? Yes. Interesting. Maybe there's a weak wall somewhere? I feel like there'd be people gathered by the spot though, right? Eh. Could have lied to me. I think I it think, was talking oh. about the key. Yeah, I bet Kokichi posted it. Got him. Oh, wait, you have to go to the fourth floor. <sighs> so you go through the uh, area you just were. Like the spooky area? Yeah, the spooky area. I saw the giant hanging scroll. That wasn't it. Oh, is it the Maybe fake wall? Yeah. <laughs> hey, bud. Ah. Uh, hey. 
What are you doing here? Uh, Nanakuma stared at me in silence and disappeared down the hallway. Uh, um, I suppose he wants me to follow him. What could be down there? It's a little annoying that makes you come back here. Come, come back. back. We had the same idea. Nanakuma's glancing back and forth at me at the picture on the wall. Uh, um, hmm? This picture? Huh? I see, it's not a canvas, it's a pane of glass. Perhaps... Maybe I should use this item I haven't used yet on this. Alright, it's worth a try. I held the hammer in my hand, faced the glass in front of me, threw it as far as I could. Epic. Epic bacon, am I right? I knew it. Yeah, I knew just as I thought there's a hidden passageway here. I don't know what he's up to, but that really did help us out. The passageway looks different than the haunted house, more like a factory. This is eerie in a different way. I think this is like gonna be like Rantaro's lab or something. No, this is gonna be the uh, the robots room. Oh yeah. It's a giant machine. I've never seen this before. Look at this. Too bad he's a little bit busy getting a tune up. Mm -hmm. What's well, a giant machine? If you've come this far, that means you've solved the painting puzzle. Excellent teamwork. Huh? What teamwork? It was just Suichi. That puzzle was too difficult for one person to solve. I'm sure they got along and solved it together. Let's just play along. We'll put ourselves in danger if we defy him. It's true what they say. The serious ones are the scariest when they finally snap. It's true snap. what they say. Never... Nice guys are <laughs> yeah, actually... Always... Yeah. You should always, always be afraid of a nice guy who's finally lost his cool. They always finish last. Like it's the shy Kibo. ones you have to watch out for. I'm certain it's not possible. But did that outdated piece of junk help you at all? No, Kibo's busy. Oh, yes, we should explain this room. So this is the computer room. Computer room. Ah. Yeah, you can play Doom. But this isn't any ordinary computer. This computer you're looking at is super amazing. It still has Windows 7. It's the one that Jaden just bought and wasted a lot of money on. It could be even used to create a new world, like a beach. So it can host a Minecraft server? Whoa there, buddy. No, no, that's, made, uh, that's we, a little too much. We made this guy called Nagito. A new world? Okay. Yeah, a new world. You can use this to create a new world. Wait, were we supposed to tell him that? I've already forgotten the plan. You totally said way too Sorry. much. I knew it. You're so forgetful, Monotaro. You gotta try to remember what you can and can't say. <sighs> Sorry. Why didn't you help him, Monofane? Huh? When you realized he was saying too much, you could have helped him, right? So, why didn't you? Why didn't you, you gaslighting shithead? Your friends, right? So, why didn't you help him? Um, um, well, um... I will not forgive if you cannot get along, you will be punished. You two, Monotaro, friends share everything, even punishments. Can't they just, like... What? Backfire! They might both kill him in this chapter. That would be funny. This machine can make a new world. What are they talking about? Looks like a looks like an Xbox. Unfortunately, I'm not very good with computers. I don't think I understand that much. Uh, this computer even has game. game Pass. Oh fuck! You, play, you know, you I recently realized. Uh, I don't know how I didn't know this. I've been paying for Game Pass for like several months. I used it a little bit with uh, Xbox, but what I recently realized, I can use it on my computer. Pretty nice. That's how uh, that's how Ali and I played Outer Worlds for a little bit. Yeah, I really should. Uh, I should be doing something with that. Also, uh, wait, Outer Worlds or Outer Worlds? Worlds. Nice. Yeah, I also played Outer Worlds, and that was really good. Mm. Fun game. 
Maybe I should make a campaign about that. Oh yeah, maybe. Maybe I should. Maybe I should have already sent you my character art and backstory. Oh. There's a giant green computer in the middle of the room. This machine can make a new world, huh? What could that mean? How little do I know about computers? I don't think I stand a chance. I guess I have no choice but to leave it be for now. What I'm thinking I'm going to do is after I finish up the next session of Fire Emblem, which will be the end of part one, I'm going to get everything transferred to a hard drive, install the new computer, and then, <gasps> yeah, and then do... Yeah, it's impossible. Yeah, it's impossible, I know. I really gotta think about what sort of progress will be lost if I do that, though. I don't think anything too major. I mean, n nothing will be lost if you transfer everything like I did. I literally shoved my all my hard drives on my external drive and then just yeah. copy-pasted my whole computer over. Yeah, uh, that'll probably work. Hopefully, like, it saves Steam saves and shit like that. If I mean, if, if you copy them over and you put them in the right folders, it'll work. Yep. Ah, oh, a treasure chest. Look, Joker, a treasure chest. What could be inside box, sweets, or treats, or socks? Maybe a flashlight. It's a flashback light. This I can find out what this place is and why we're here. <laughs> Hi, Kumkichi. Oh, you found the flashback light. Also, what the fuck did you call me? <laughs> oh, wow. You're pretty dependable despite that lame face of yours. I respect that. Yeah. Thanks, brother. I'll get the others. You just bring that to the dining hall, Suichi. Also, Suichi, do you want a kiss? I mean, uh, what? Hey, uh, just like, fair warning. Here, if you go to the lab, uh, just be prepared. Do you want to make out later? Well, off I go. See you later. He chatted away, and I couldn't even get a word in edgewise. He left waving goodbye. Yo. Also, what if... What if I called him... Dumb Kichi? Dude. Dude, no. Dude, dude you can't. No. no That's no, almost no. as good as Pooichi. You can't. No. It's too funny. What if... What if I took Mew and called her... P U. No, it can't. It's too. It's too good. That's impossible. It it's impossible. I can't say the words because you know Kokichi already said them for me. So what you're saying is it's dash impossible. You should be grateful. You, you should, should be grateful. I sifted through 40 <laughs> minutes of ah ooh ah ah dash impossible. Oh, uh well yeah we're it's gonna... ooh, magic. Ooh, ooh, uh, uh, saying, well yeah bang, and it's great wall, because wall, what, I, what we now realize is that we can just quote her ourselves. We don't even need the sound. <coughs> yeah, we've used it exactly twice. Or maybe three times, I don't know. I think, so, I think it was dining hall? Yes. I just yeah. wanted to get to level 66. Sure. Execute it. Hello, friends. Oh, wait, not you people. Yuck. Really? Shoichi, is it true that you found another flashback okay. light? Yeah, that's true, unfortunately. Wait, so Kokichi wasn't lying. I'm stunned, startled, shocked. Hey, so you two thanks. kissed? See, that part was I a, uh... told you I wasn't lying. Good thing, too, because I didn't want my pants on fire. I want to start talking about what we're going to do, but Kaito isn't here yet. I want to start talking about what we're going to do, but Kokichi hasn't shut the fuck up yet. Ah. Maki's not here either. Ah. Oh, Maki's not coming. I didn't invite her. Huh? You didn't invite her? Hey. Forget about that killer. Hey, Mew, Keyboy. Did you guys see the computer room on the fourth floor? Computer room, you say? Go on. Hey. Yeah, there was a big computer on the fourth floor. Would you take a look later? You and Kiba might know something about it, right? I'm sorry, I'm not very computer savvy. <laughs> this guy's fucking useless. Uh, oh, is that so? That's... Uh, this robot's useless. <laughs> I've been meaning to ask, but Kiba, what is your talent exactly? Well, I can do all sorts of things. 
Yes, I'm pretty good at one-man comedy shows if I do say myself. Airplane food, am I right? Boy, are my arms tired. Kibo's existence is the only ultimate thing about him. Other than that, he's got no talent. I bet he could do an entire hour of AI Spongebob. Do not mock me! Patrick, I just I told you, you got off your antidepressants. <laughs> I'm good at one-man <laughs> comedy shows. I don't I really like get, get it. it. But we just need to check out this... Wait, do you want to voice her? No. <laughs> but we just need no, to check out this computer my room, mistake. right? <laughs> you sure? But I'm not gonna come just for some computer. It's gonna take way more than that. Uh, well, the Pono Cubs did say it was amazing. Hey, thanks for waiting! He has, like, Maki hogtied somehow. No, I just brought her in. Uh, Kaito and... Ellipses. But Maki, why is Maki with you? Well, this is about the flashback light, so everyone should be here, yeah? When you say everyone, do you truly need to include a professional killer? I'm leaving. God, you people are assholes. Come on, man. Wait, hold on a sec. Kaito gripped Maki's arm before she could leave. Kaito, didn't you say you wanted to take down her mask or whatever? Yeah, I'm gonna take down her mask as a murderer. What? Hey, so... I can't just believe a girl like her is capable of killing people in cold blood. Womp. Um... Is it true? Are you really the ultimate assassin, Maki? Have you killed anyone before? Okay. Yes. Really? But... Why you hide that? Isn't it obvious? It's so she could kill us all before we figured out her identity. That's wrong. You're wrong. It's because I knew you guys would react huh? this way. What? Because... When people learn my ultimate talent, they get the same fear in their eyes that you all have. Eventually, that fear will turn into hate, but then someone will try to kill me because they're afraid I'll kill them first. That's... That's really not... That's the point. Whenever someone learns my real identity, they try to kill me. It happens every time. Always. Spoilers for what uh, this chapter's gonna be. Huh? Always. Mm. You've lived a pretty sad life, Maki. That's so mean. Oh, poor, poor Maki. I feel so sorry for you. I think I'm about to cry. See? Because of everything you've been through, human life has no value to you now. Is that it? Jeez. She's not an assassin. Not some murderous fiend. She's neither. Yeah, exactly. She's the ultimate child caregiver, of course. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Even if she did kill someone, that doesn't mean she thinks it's okay to... Hey, can you let go of me now? Uh oh. Kind of finally let go of her arm and Maki let out a sigh. It's okay. I knew you wouldn't believe me. That's why I kept it a secret, and tried to avoid you guys as much as I could. But someone who doesn't know how to mind his business kept dragging me places. Oh, are you talking about me? However, I'll say this. I have no intention of killing any of you, unless one of you tries to kill me first. Having said that, you probably won't believe me anyway. Then... So, you guys mind your business, I'll mind mine, and we'll all agree to avoid each other. Please, just pretend I'm not even here. Can we do her fucking support this chapter? <laughs> Maki. Really, you can do four of them. I really want to. Throw it as a threat, but the last bit seemed a little bit sad. But we could do Mew instead. You're so dumb. Jeez, Kaito, what were you thinking? Are you trying to turn her us against each other or something? I think I speak for everyone when I say we're all disappointed in you. Right, guys? Oh. No, no, I wouldn't say that, Tell but... Me Shall we finally get started? We've all gathered here for the flashback light, yes? Everyone! Yes. So have we all decided what we're going to do? Use it, of course. We might be able to remember something new. Like the true purpose of the ultimate hunt. No. Well, we don't know anything for sure about that. Anything while we're trapped here. What was that? Take even that wishy-washy bullshit. Of course it's got something to do with why. That's wrong. Shut the fuck up. Hey. Chuichi. Hey, instead of arguing, Chuichi. it'd be way faster to just use it, you know? Yeah, that's right. Thanks for agreeing with me, Kokichi. <laughs> that's true, but you're right. Yeah, don't to worry, but we gotta do it. No matter what we remember, can't think about wanting to leave this place. Come on, come on. If you think like uh -oh. that, we'll just be repeating ourselves. Yeah. 
I know that, and we can't go around repeating ourselves. This conversation is going nowhere. I'm done with you. We must do it. Then let's give it a try. Suichi, go for it. Um, I'm a little nervous. I'm sort of just plain nauseous. Everyone turned their eyes to me as I flicked on the flashback light. One thing about Magi, you know, her uh, love hotel scene has two different versions. Depending one on where she's a caregiver and one where she's an assassin. Interesting. Uh, I guess we skipped out on the caregiver one. That's fine. <clears throat> the world warped. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Magical girl transformation? I wish Shuichi had one of those. My consciousness went white, and somewhere in that whiteness a scene played. They were so young and talented. How could this happen? It looked like an accident. They were running away from that group. Was it really just an accident, though? I honestly can't believe that. What was that? A funeral? It was mine. It was everyone's here. Huh? Why? Why was I at my own funeral? What? What? A funeral? You too, Shuichi? It would appear we all remembered the same thing. What the fuck's going on? What the fuck does it mean? Why was I watching your guys' funeral? And why was I there too? Hmm. Shuichi! What the hell's going on? What was the funeral? But the only thing I can remember is seeing the funeral. Nothing else. No way. Maybe we already dead? No way. Nutty. Jeez, this is so stupid. I couldn't help but laugh. I mean, there's no way that that was our memory of our funeral. Yes, that's it. Then. What was it? I mean. It was probably a memory of our school festival or something. Yeah, that's Copium. right. What? <laughs> school that's right. festival? Yeah, it was probably a memor memory from a play we did at a school festival or something. I mean, isn't it obvious if you just think about it? Of course. If that funeral was real, there's no way we'd be still be alive. You think so? Yes, I do. Well, that's true. But aren't we all from different high schools? Why would we have a school festival well, together? That's... We'll probably remember something else about it later. Got it. Anyway, there's no way that funeral was real. There's no mistaking Logic. that. You're right. If we think about it logically, that's clearly oh, out of the question. Then... Okay, good. Going to think everyone was already dead. Don't worry about it. Stop saying stupid stuff. Look at me, I'm alive. Hail and hearty. <laughs> Hardy, do you get a hard on every time you see me? Yeah, that's right. Wait, really? Okay. Why? <laughs> oh. Oh, I heard males can tell they're healthy by how hard they get in the morning. Is that true? Hey, st stay in your lane, bitch. Oh. I'm not good with other people's dirty jokes. I'm disappointed. <laughs> what a disappointment. Huh? A disappointment? I don't get hard in the morning. Oh man. I must not be healthy. Uh, that's true. This flashback was a real letdown. And neither do I. I didn't find anything else about the ultimate one. Just a weird memory. Okay. Yeah, seriously. <coughs> talk about a disappointment. Huh? No, I'm not talking about the memory. I'm talking about you guys. Huh? What? It's a lie. No, no, it's nothing. I'm just lying again, so don't worry about it. I wish you wouldn't have said anything about it in the first place. More importantly than the memory of the funeral we saw. It can't be a memory of any real funeral. I have to learn more about this. No matter how hard I think about it, I can't wrap my head around it. After that experience, we ate a meal in the dining hall. And we turned to our rooms. I wonder who cooked. Yo, who let him cook? I bet Shuichi could be a good cook. Yeah. With my magic, I can make. They were like, food. Shuichi put on Kurumi's maid outfit. Okay. 
feel like there's some kind of secret about this funeral. I can't stop thinking about it. But it's hard to deduce anything from such a short scene. I could ask Monokuma for a hint. That would help, but unfortunately he's a little bit bald at the moment. Shouldn't waste my time trying to solve an unsolvable problem. I still have some time left today. Maybe I'll head out and clear my mind. Alright, Jaden, when, when is Maki available? After the first one. After the first one. How about we do one Mew for the hell of it? But I want to get skills. Okay, but like... <laughs> you could do Kokichi! He's available the whole thing. Exactly. We could do... I just wanted to do the four Makis, honestly. Do you think she's gonna die in this one? No, I just... I just like her. So then we could <laughs> do, like, all five next time and just have, like, a nice coherent narrative. I... I... I don't know. I'd rather just... Is... Well, actually, I probably shouldn't you ask never, if Maki's available for the next one. You never know if this game who's gonna die, and I'd be really <clears> bummed <throat> out if we didn't... Here's what I'll say. Uh, I'll do the free time after in the end of the game, if she's not, if she dies or something happens. Uh, she's not available for the next chapter. Uh, in the, in the post-game, we'll, we'll do the hangouts. Okay, okay, sure. So are we gonna do the five meal ones, then? Yeah, I think we're doing the five meal ones. All right. That was the plan. I almost got out of it. <laughs> you tried. Sorry in advance. Anyway, uh, well, before we do the five meal ones, we'll give you some time to process it. Uh, we're gonna go find all the Monokumas that are possible to grab. Sure. Uh, one's in the boiler room. I want to be boiled. Uh, be Mew boiled would like, like that as well. There was a stupid mon. Oh, okay. Well, that was pretty easy. No. Oh, I just chose the mono kids. <laughs> Next, we have to go to the love hotel. <laughs> Am I allowed to enter the love hotel now? I don't think so. It's probably like in front of it. While you're near there, just buy a key. I know you have them, I have but I want 17 you to buy one. Why? I want to see if I'm right about this, and if I am, it's stupid. You have to warp to the. Like, Do you have to buy them one at a time? Area. You might. Are you fucking kidding me? And that's stupid if that's the case. Why would that be how that works? You, you can't go. To you can't area. go there. It's like go go up, go up. Ah. Casino area. Yep. <clears throat> the warp points are all at the top of the map or the the list. Because I I bought two sets of keys, so it should have happened twice. Yeah, I don't think that's the case. If it is, it's just shitty programming. Incredibly shitty programming. But there should also be some new stuff here. Uh, yeah, looks like there's some zero, zero ups. I will grab them. Nothing happened. Well, nothing happens until nighttime. Bondage, that's probably a Mew gift. Fit for a queen. Do you suppose art or an umbrella holder? I guess I don't need any more stainless. Illusion rod. Is that like the the um monomy rod? Looks like it. Oh, there also might be new skills. Yeah. Oh yeah. Shotgun, twin six, operation giant roller. Is this you can go down. Some of the pieces will be missing from the beginning? What? Yeah, like, it's the, uh, you when gotta you... find the item behind the puzzle. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's nice, actually. <clears throat> oh, what the... That, see, that sounded really good. Until it said during that mini game only. There's also only one skill left. Yeah. Uh, are there, are there other pages we're following with, or is it just the two? Skills and presence, I think. Okay. Now, even if I do have to buy each of the keys one at a time, I have enough to do that. Yeah. But it might mean that we skipped some of the scenes. 
that we could have done. But I, I think it was just like too many nights also, in a row. I think working. I'm fine with that. They don't. Guess we don't have don't to see them all. Particularly. Uh, you have to. Yeah, you gotta go to the love hotel or near the grass. There it is. All right now, go. Yep, there it is. Oh, I love the little hat. All right, this is my favorite one so far. No. Look at this dumbass little hat. I think he had a fez. I think that's He's what he And the last one's in the ultimate pianist lab. The ultimate what lab? Penis oh my god. The ultimate penis lab. Yum. I, I think I think the music in there is penis music, so. There's a warp there. Yeah. There it is. And right now it's uh, very penis-y because it doesn't exist. I guess we'll do the Mew thing. Jane, can you look up the Mew presence now? I want yeah. to get through this quick. Stuff. Slowly? No. Oh, it's Colette. Angel I Feathers. They went in two different directions. You haven't been uh, summoned to the gym yet, so I don't think you can do the... Yumiko thing? The ultimate magician, yeah. So I do is have the item. Something that I don't want to say, Drayden. I'm sure it'll be fine. Why are you sure of this? Because, like, I don't they just had think. Just walk in on two characters fucking. Okay, like... that was Mew. I think they're being, for the most part, normal with the. Remember, girl. remember, there was that thing in Dear Two with Mikan and and fucking Hi Hi Hiyoko. You know. No comment. Listen, we'll find out. And if it's really bad, I'll just hit the fast forward button. Sure. No comment. Anyway, where the hell is Mew? Speaking of characters who I don't want to go see right now. Uh. There. No. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. For a second, I was like, "Oh, that's Kaede." <laughs> but oh. like, wait a minute. <laughs> it's a ghost. Wow, that's crazy. What the fuck is she doing in here? Oh, she's checking out the giant computer. Gotcha. Hey, robot. Beep boop. How about this? I feel excellent for the first time in a while. My movements are on point, wouldn't you say? No. No. I'm glad you got to hang out with somebody. I'm not. Uh, I'm happy for him. If those two are consenting, then that's... You know, whatever. Unfortunately, we had to see it. You know. Yeah, but that's like a that's like a dating Moyasu type thing, you know. Yeah. You know, if I did die, my funeral would be way more awesome. That shitty memory. The whole country, no, the whole world would mourn my passing. <laughs> what uh, what items does she need to hang out with her? By the way, what uh, she, she love? Likes, she like she I need loves loves yeah. bondage boots. All right. Two okay. Those. That's wearable blankets. What, what number is that? 29. We have four of them. Okay. okay. We're good. Uh, she loves 39. Alright, we have, we have plenty. She we loves can use... 72. Wow, oh, these are actually like really normal items. That's <laughs> why she loved the work chair of doom. Uh, she loves 107. We have eight work chairs of doom. Oh, okay. And she loves the key of love. Okay. Well, I have a bunch of those. You know. Hey. You want to lose your virginity before you die? <laughs> Too bad. It's gonna take more than what you're packing to satisfy me. Okay. You regret suggesting Mew? I spent some time with Mew. I, I'm hoping that this, like, turns into normal after, like, the second one. I somehow ended up growing closer to uh, Mew. Yes. Here's why M would rather you give a uh, like instead <coughs> of a love, because she'll call you Puichi. <laughs> she calls you don't, Puichi if you give, give her, her a like. Don't give her that tentacle, come on. Well, I have give five of them. Yeah. What was that? Well, I, I wanted this so bad. Not bad, Perma Virgin. When are you planning to slip some flip between these 
big old titties. What the what? fuck does that mean? <laughs> well, if you're talking it to me every day, I guess I can let that slide. Hey, All she right, did Puigi, it anyway. You ready? Huh? Ready. What was that? Huh? Don't look at me like I just blew up a dove with a rocket launcher. I, Miu Iruma, the gorgeous girl genius, I'm going to devote my time to you. <laughs> and you'll entertain me in return, right? You'll leave me 100% satisfied, huh? right? I, I don't know about that. Huh? huh? Are you saying you invited me without making any plans? What? You motherfu- Typical. When men see the heat I'm packing, they get all nervous and stiff. <laughs> but since you caught me in a good mood, alright, I'll show you my inventions. Follow me. Without waiting for my answer, we started to the lab. I did Muse. I know what these are like. <laughs> here we are, Miui Ruma's research lab. I know that y you brought me here. Booyah! Now the first invention I'll show you is uh, this. Um... What is this, a sensor? Listen up! Wow, you actually figured out it's a sensor, but can you guess what kind of sensor? No. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. I call this baby the hookup counter. Huh? The hookup counter? The doy! It counts how many people you fucked, or how many people have fucked you. Don't point that at me. <laughs> Too late, let's see the results, shall we? <laughs> no fucking way, you kidding me? What did it say? What did it say? Well now, on to the next invention. You had a machine that looked like an arm with a boxing glove on the fist. Uh, um... What is this? <laughs> Auto puncher that punches you for telling terrible, dirty jokes. That's kind of dangerous around you, isn't it? Huh? Why is the name so literal? Who cares? Sometimes I'm too lazy to think of names. I'm constantly cranking out new inventions. You can't expect me to name them all. I mean, do you name each of your little dudes after you blast them into a tissue? Uh, you got punched pretty hard. Is she okay? <laughs> Jeez, that was sudden. Still, though, that was a good punch. I guess she's fine. <laughs> Alright, sorry to cut your face <coughs> short, but I got one more invention to show. And what is it this time? This looks like a ray gun from a science fiction movie. <laughs> this baby will teleport underwear in a flash. I call it the Going Commando Gun. What? <laughs> Just point this light at a pair of underwear and you can send it anywhere you want. What do you think? Cool shit, right? Huh? What? You can teleport objects? <laughs> Why the hell are we calling the one girl the ultimate magician when you've literally created an anti-displacer, right? Not all objects, just underwear. That's even more impressive, because you somehow specified to only target one specific <laughs> form of cloth. Just underwear? She's wasting this incredible technology on underwear. What do you think? Bow before my formidable talent. I, I don't know what to say. This is all a little odd. What? Well, don't look at me like that. Those cold eyes. I just wanted to show this stuff to you. Uh oh, did I upset her? No. No, it's really creative. Really good stuff. Um, really? Okay. Yeah, I think it's good that you have so much fun with your inventions. <laughs> you think so? That makes me happy. Yeah, my inventions are... I fucking <laughs> My inventions are always awesome without even saying it. But even geniuses like to be praised. You seem to understand that pretty well. You know, you're pretty alright. I'll treat you real good from now on. Just make sure my technique doesn't blow your mind too hard. <laughs> Don't treat me good, so you're not gonna test anything on me, right? All right, guinea pig. <coughs> See when she Can I at least get some guts increases? Pig, I'm okay with it. My brain feels a little scrambled, so I return to my room. That was so confusing noticing her voice actor change. Oh, her voice actor changes? Oh, to Kami's, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, it it feels pretty similar to me. This is an announcement. I feel like Mono, uh, Mo Mo Mono Dam has to be the one that dies, right? <laughs> Fucking destroyed them! Oh no, her bra's slipping off. Ah, goodness. Oh no, the monetization! No! It is now 10 p.m. It's Betty by time for us! You two should sleep together in one big bed. Ah. Oh, that's a reference to a podcast I listen Oh, the three of us Just could kidding. sleep in one big bed, right? As close as we are, not only could we sleep in one big bed, we could sleep in triple bunk beds. Huh? But whoever's in the top bunk might fall out of bed and die. Uh, I don't know if we're that close. 
Yeah, yeah, the D and D podcast I listen to, they 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 always have their party uh, sleep the night in one big bed. Nice. Cool. Nighttime. I have training with Kaito. I haven't done it for a while because of the murder, but we're going to do it tonight, right? I guess I need to go to the courtyard. Darkness time. Uh, I have all four of my mono cubs. Yeah, so you just have the one left in the uh, trial. Nice. All cleared up. Hopefully, we get a scene tonight. It's been like eight years. Yeah, you. Re oh, well, I think that was a Discord cutout. Yep, sure was. Oh, silly Discord. Why you always gotta be like this? Alright, I will reopen that. <clears throat> Thank you, Discord. It dies. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, that's so fucked up. That's fucked up. Oh, hey, Ross. Welcome back. Good old Discord. Oh, hey, you didn't actually read the scene. What, the scene? Yeah. Yeah, we thought you were going to read it while uh, you... We no, I heard Jaden cut out, and I was just like, I immediately knew. Huh? Shuichi, where are you going? Well. Nowhere in particular. What about you, Angie? I... Oh, I was just talking to the others. Huh? Talking. Maybe. Since they can't hear it... She's doing that a lot now. Since I can't hear Atua's voice, I was explaining his wisdom to them. Uh, doing what a lot? She's doing that maybe. Mm. I see. Atua! Atua was touched by everyone's feelings, so he said we must all preserve the peace here. <laughs> I'm so relieved. I work with everyone to make this academy a paradise. Shall work with everyone? I wonder what that means. Bye, Yonara! See you tomorrow. I never get to say bye, Yonara, because she always says it herself. Yeah. I have a bad feeling about this. Himiko's magic show was Angie's idea as well. What is she planning this time? She's the... She is the imposter. <clears throat> Among us. Among us. Looks like Kaito wasn't here yet. And suddenly, he was here yet. Yo! Hey, sorry I was late. I just heard a vine boom and, you know, I had trouble with bringing her. <laughs> so we're gonna be training with Maki. Huh? Her. Just standing far from him. Mm. What if he's gathering the final crew? Oh, that'd be interesting. So yeah, it's, it's us three. Huh? Maki, is why Maki here? That's what I'd like to know. Someone kept buzzing my intercom, and I got so fed up, I finally opened the door. <laughs> then this guy grabbed my arm and dragged me yeah, all the way it's... here. Well, don't worry about the small stuff. We're gonna train! And it's more fun to th with three people than two. Alright? Training? The three of us? Is that really the reason you dragged me this here? This is stupid. This is stupid. I'm going back. <laughs> you call on this stupid? Listen up. When a hero has to fight with a big enemy, they train. Train and then train some more. That's what this training is. It's important for a hero like me. And my sidekick, Suichi. And my mate and my uh, heroine. You now, Maki. Come on now. You guys can be like the super dog, cat, or horse by my side to help me be the hero. Uh, um, of all the examples you could have picked. I'm right already. Did you really think that crazy explanation would convince me to stupid. stay? This is still stupid. I'm going back. Hold uh, hey, hold on a second. When I said I was the hero, that's just from my perspective. Even super auto pets think of themselves as heroes. Let's do it. The same goes for both of you. Each of you are heroes of your own stories. That's why the lobster is so proud. It sucks. The lobster needs so, to buff Kaito. Act more like it. Are you seriously hey. running shrimp scampi? I don't know what you're up to, but I told you both to stay away from me. You know this will end badly if you don't, so why are you being difficult? Hey, so. So how long are you gonna run away? What? Kaito brought his face close to Maki's. Hmm. Your mask is coming down. I could tell just by looking at you today. So, you guys mind your business, I'll mind mine, and we'll all agree to avoid each other. Please, just pretend I'm not even here. I mean... 
You're not the terrifying person the others think you are. You're just a coward. Hey, so... So, what's your enemy? What? Huh? My enemy. Jeez. You don't need to tell me what it is, as long as you know it yourself. Listen up. So how long are you gonna run away from your enemy? Run away? Seriously? Come on! Yeah, you've been running away. It's pretty pathetic. That's right. But if you want to stand against it even a little, I'll train with you, so you can be strong. What? Oh. Aki's getting angry. Kaito's just provoking her. Is he gonna be okay? He's antagonizing the ultimate assassin. Hey! So, what are you gonna do? Kaito. Hey, Ka Kaito, it's okay. You don't have to, uh... Okay, okay. Fine, I'll do it. Huh? Huh, you'll do it? Then... Don't get the wrong idea. He'll just bug me about it later if I refuse. <laughs> so you do get it. The only way to deal with idiots like him is to give up and just keep nodding. What? You don't get it at all! Whatever. You just better get ready. I won't hold back just because you're a girl. Well, what are we doing first? Alright! All right. First, a hundred push-ups! That's fifty more than last time, Kaito. Somehow Maki ended up joining us and the three of us trained together. <laughs> Do they use the same maki art? No, it's it's the same. They're they're gonna pan out. And it's gonna include Maki. Ah, uh, yeah. Not bad, Shuichi. You're getting better. Hey, Kaito. No slacking today, yeah? I'm counting your reps. I'm on fire today. I could easily do 50 push-ups. I thought we were doing a hundred. Hey, what about you, Maki? Hundred might be too hard for you, so. Speed. 91, 92, 93, 94. She's, a, she's like a frog. What? Wow. That fast? Satisfied? 100. I'm done. Maki stood up and brushed the dirt from her hand, totally composed. No. You're done, done already. already. You're not even out of breath. I guess you've trained before, huh? Did you just do a Mio reference? A it's not like we really pushed ourselves. Well, that's... Before coming here, I did some warm-ups. I already did 500 or so, you know? Kaito, that was the best like to come up with. Hey, hey. Anyway, I'm done and you can't say I didn't train with you. I'm going back to my room. Okay, we're d doing training tomorrow, too. You better be there. <laughs> it's just like, I'm not getting any fucking sleep. Lucky well, ignored Kaito and left without a word. By the way, you know what I never checked? Yeah, does look yeah, okay. It updated. She still has uh, a dislike for those Winter Lake shores. <clears throat> Why she gotta be so difficult? Hey, Kaito. Why'd you have to do all this to help her? Mm, if someone's weak, you help them out. Teamwork's important for astronauts. Hopefully that didn't spill. No, it didn't. Okay, cool. Huh. If someone's weak and suffering, there's no way you can just leave them. Uh, um, weak and suffering? Maki? That's right. Well, in that sense, you're... No, your case is a little different. What do you mean by that? N nothing. Anyway, let's keep going. You're still in the middle of your push-ups, right? <laughs> so are you. Why are you listening? I already did 500 push-ups before I got here. No. Nice try, Kato. Kaito ended up saying he didn't remember how many push-ups he did. We agreed to just start over, and we were exhausted by the time we reached 100. <sighs> so tired. I got back to my room, I huffed out a deep sigh and fell backwards onto my bed. Kaito bring Maki, he really is crazy. Maybe it's because he's crazy that Maki came in the first place. Kaito, you really are something else. My eyelids closed as I continued talking to myself, and eventually I drifted to sleep. No, no key. The fuck is up with this key? It doesn't work. Also, that's amazing. <laughs> Curious. Curious, what are we mono cups to do when you're not around? 
I'll tell you. We listen to foreign music and laugh at the funny sounding words. When we hear words that sound perverted, we get really excited. We also wear pajamas all day and lounge in air conditioned rooms. And when we go all out together, they usually make me steal. See, we're all such good friends. We're always together. Except when they run away when I get caught stealing. Oh, here we oh, go. Yeah. Yes. Finally. Sure. I mean, I guess. Who are we getting today? God fucking yeah. damn it! Let's go! Actual Kokichi jump scare. <laughs> Look at their two faces. They're like, listen, I don't want this either. <laughs> All right, here, here's what we'll do. We'll take ten seconds to process this, we and we'll get back into character. We made that joke about them kissing earlier. We'll get it was, back it into was character. Foreshadowing. We'll, we'll get into character after five seconds. Are you ready? You might five, actually have to buy a key four, every night. Three, two. <laughs> <laughs> Kokichi, come on! You're supposed to get into character. Every time I come here, I play the role of their ideal, like some shared fantasy. Kokichi's fantasy. Uh -huh. I can only imagine how insane this will get. Oh, man. It's been a while since I landed into trouble like this. Trouble? <laughs> Trapping me in a place like this? That's very like you, Mr. Detective. Something's still a detective in this fantasy. Am I supposed to be chasing him? But, but I won't tell you where I hit the stolen gem. Torture won't work either, you know. Wait. I'm not gonna torture you. What exactly do you think a detective does? You're planning on trying and tough roughing me up on my body, aren't you? And I got there eventually. That's why there's a bed, huh? No, you've got it all wrong. Why? Uh, but isn't that what happens to the Phantom Thief when they're caught? A Phantom Thief? <laughs> but you know, if you're into some way crazier kinks than I thought of, even I won't be able to keep That's up. I said you've got it wrong. No, wait a minute. We shouldn't be arguing. I'm in Kokichi's fantasy. I should calm down and play along. All right, so Kokichi's a fan of Thief, is he? Da -da -da. I'm not going to do anything to you. From here on out, you're the cops' problem. I'm just trying to rile me up to give yourself a chance to escape. No dice, Kokichi. Mm, you figured it out already? Jeez, I was willing to let you do whatever you wanted to me since I love you, Shuichi. Wow. But wow, you even researched my name. My identity is bare and naked for your eyes only. Kokichi, did, did you just call me Shuichi? Yeah. Yeah? Well, looking up your name was a piece of cake. So, I'm not a different person here. I'm me, and Kokichi's Kokichi. I know I'm supposed to be his ideal, but even when he tells me he loves me... I can't help but think he means the opposite. <laughs> if you're not gonna do anything, then maybe I will. Before my mind had even had a chance to process it, Kokichi's grin was upon me. Uh, uh hey. I stepped back reflexively. I had no idea what he was capable hey. of. No need to be scared. What did you think I was gonna do to you? I'm simply being cautious. We aren't exactly friends, Kokichi. Are we? This whole situation is too strange for me to get my bearings. I mean, this kind of conversation only makes it harder to know why I'm here. Jeez, don't be so cold to me. You've been chasing me for so long. The stealing part doesn't excite me as much as being pursued by you, you know. Oh, man. Don't you feel the same, Suichi? You weren't bored playing with me, were you? Uh, well, I wouldn't say. <laughs> well, I don't care what you think anyway. Because you just do what you please, don't you, Kikichi? Are you mad because I toyed with you? Don't worry, I'm always thinking about you. You're always trying your best to catch me. I really have to give it my all to win. You seem to be rather enjoying this for a cornered criminal. Because the game's not over yet. Hey, Suichi, what would you do if I told you that I wanted you to catch me? Huh? It's true! There's a transmitter on my body, so my friends are probably have this place around it already. <laughs> Looks like you'll be the one getting all tied and roughed up, Suichi. Huh? That's not possible, right? It couldn't be. I was taken off guard by Kokichi's words, but then I remembered our roles. Wait. Kokichi, your lies don't work on me. 
You're not shaken up at all. Oh the man, be more excited. Oh. That's too bad. I really wanted your eyes to be on me. I thought you didn't care about how I felt. That was a lie. You know, since I'm a liar. But when I said I wanted you to catch me, that was definitely not a lie. What do you mean? It means you can do whatever you want to me. And that's the truth. <laughs> Why did they voice this? Let's do a lot more together. So, I'm I glad, so I don't have to voice it. <laughs> I'd love Let's to be Jaden it. voicing it. Yeah. Kokichi moved towards me. For every step he took, I took one back, but my feet hit the bed. Kokichi? But Kokichi wasn't listening at all. He pushed me hard on Is this how every single character is going I, to go? I, I feel like it is. I think we're learning a lot more about Shuichi than we are about these other characters. <laughs> I mean, wait, I mean, Miyu already said he's a beta boy toy. Just kidding. Did I get ya? What? Kokichi didn't answer as he sprinted towards the exit. <laughs> what well, am I gonna? What am I supposed to do about this, huh, Kokichi? Kokichi, stop right there. <laughs> stop right there, please. I tried to give chase, but my knees were weak as I tumbled off the bed. There are mortal enemies in this fantasy, but still, Kokichi couldn't be leaving. Caught myself wishing he would stay before I smothered the thought. <laughs> that was pretty fun. See ya, Shuichi. I'll think of a more exciting game for next time. So make sure you excite me, too. Kokichi turned his back to me with the floor. Some places handled the door. Thousands okay, they, they of Danganronpa it. fans they all over it. the world. They subverted our expectations. Crying. I actually can Kokichi. Well, apparently you're not allowed to King Kokichi. <clears throat> what do you think Ken means? <laughs> well, I don't think that's anything to do with it. Fair enough, man. Yeah. But you might <coughs> have to buy a ticket or a key every time. What? Like every day to get another. You event. have to buy a, t a key. I think you might have to. That's so fucking I'm not dumb. sure, but it, it worked that time. But also. It also worked on the first day last time, too. Yeah, but you. I will just it. buy a key every single day until it doesn't work. Yeah. It is now 8 a.m. This is an official announcement. Please assemble in the gym. Ah, well, it's time to go ready, give a. Emily. <laughs> Don't worry, she doesn't have to get ready. I'm the one who has to voice both characters. Refusal to get along is grounds for termination. Oh, Mana Damn, you're really obsessed with this whole getting along thing. And you know, you know, just because it involves another character doesn't mean that they're, like, the only character involved. Like, the first two times, it was, uh... Yeah, yeah I, could, I could tell you everyone involved so, you in know, them. It, that well, would make well, me feel don't don't better. spoil that. Like you know, it could just be like I give her the gun. She's like, "That's cool," and then like Mia runs up and steals it, and then like the whole scene plays out with her or something like that. Or who the right. fuck knows? Friends is the only show he watches. <laughs> Cross is my favorite character in that. I will not forgive that. If you don't get along, I won't forgive you. I can't say that's the reference I expected. Um, I will use the exosols to peel your face off like the mandarin oranges. <laughs> That's so gory, but please get along, everyone. You know, there's only three of these fucking assholes, and they can't jump inside the exosols at will. They have to, like, walk towards it. Monokuma's, like, dead to the world. How come no one's, like, kill the robots and then fuck off? Ah, <clears throat> uh, she puked again. Oh, it's blue this time. How rare! That's, That's a 1 in 8,192% really chance. They say anyone who sees a monofinny puke will have good luck! Maybe, maybe I should go back to shiny hunting. You get it in your first try. Yo, yo, I, so, so I went on a Pokemon Go walk earlier today, <laughs> right? I fucking, there was a, sh I found a shiny Umbreon, and then when I caught it, it was a non-shiny Zorua. Yeah, <laughs> nice I trick. fucking hate that shit. Nice trick. What is it? Morning already? That's not what Kukichi was. That a dream? I can't even figure him out in my dreams. No, I do already have a shiny Umbreon in Poco, so it's not the end of the world. But <laughs> I haven't played to have twins. Go on forever. I started during the uh, North Carolina trip. You're not who I want to see this morning. Hmm. Good morning, Keo. Are you going to the gym? Yeah, I feel betrayed, Shuichi. Don't worry, we didn't do anything. Yes, I was about to head over just now. I overslept a bit, thanks to you. 
Of course, the one time I do that, we are summoned, so I panicked a bit. I'm normally ready to leave my room by 7.30. Uh, um, that early. I usually just wake up after the monocub announcement. I usually wake up at 6 a.m., since it takes me so long to get ready each morning. That takes one moment. Why does it take so long? Is that even longer than what a girl takes? What the fuck does that mean, Shuichi? Well, Kia does have a pretty elaborate uniform. Perhaps so that's man. why. In any event, if we have no time for idle chatter, I shall go on ahead to the gym. I mean, I do take a while to get out of bed, but that's just because I, I, I need my ADHD. I program. really hope you get Muse, because it's fucking atrocious. I, I, yeah, I imagine. Oh, oh, hey, hey, bro! bro. Hey, bro! Okay. Good morning, you hear the announcement. Uh, yeah, we gotta meet up in the gym, right? So what's going on so early? God damn, I want to sleep in after working my muscles out. Well, we got no choice but to go. You go on ahead, bro. What? You're not going? So... Nah, I gotta take care of something first. Then I'll meet you there. All right, bro. Kind of put it at the door to Maki's room. I suppose he's gonna take hey, her. So... They said everybody's gotta be there, right? Who knows what'll happen if some of us don't show up? Yeah, I guess you're right. Last night's training session now this. Kaito's really concerned about Maki. It would be nice if we could get her to help along with everyone else. Anyway, so I have to go find the little witch girl. Uh, she's it's, not gonna be uh, after, I think. Well, let me look. Hold on. Da, 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 da. No, she'll be like outside. I know that. <clears throat> All right. My witch academia. She's right there. That is a witch girl. No, that's a monkey. Yeah. Oh, good morning. Are you about to head to the gym too, Shuichi? Okay. Also, wait, did somebody say Phantom Thief? Yeah, I certainly don't want to ignore a summon like that. Did you say summon? <gasps> I guess. Like a persona? Right? If we don't all show up, he might think we're not getting along or something. Before, I thought Monotem was the most reasonable one out of them, but... He's pathologically fixated on getting along. He's even killed all their monocubs over it. It seems like he was actually the most dangerous one. One wrong step and he's full on Yandere. What is she talking about? You don't know about Yandere, Shuichi? You've gone to the hotel with two of them. Um... Hi, Himiko. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> this face. <laughs> These two faces. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Both of them. I'm blushing. <laughs> yeah. I'm also blushing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking many you of them. My, you wrote yeah. my line. Yeah. That yeah. Means good morning. Yeah. Why do we have to go to the gym so early in the morning? I don't know, but I don't think it's anything good. We have an important student council meeting today, but this is going to use up all my energy. An important meeting. It's fine. No, no, it's okay. You won't use up too much energy just walking to the gym. That's what you said. Hey. Hey, about this meeting, are you planning something? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sort of. Angie said we should have a party. We were planning to play in the pool with everyone after this. I see. Um... Atua said he wanted to play in the pool. What a peculiar request from a god to make. That's not it. Oh, no. Now, no, now is no time to be standing here talking. We don't hurry to the gym. Our faces might get peeled off like mandarin oranges. Mm. I don't like mandarin oranges. Peeling off all the white stuff's a pain. Best character. The pool. So that's where all the girls would be. Can you, like, not appear? Uh. Hey. What? Do you want something from me? Monokuma stared at me silently, intensely, as though he were trying to tell me something. Hey, what? What was it? Sweetie. You got something to say? Say it! Suddenly a thought flashed into my mind. A man's... fantasy. <laughs> this is the pivot? <laughs> Where is this thought coming from? Not from my mind. From my heart? Yes, my heart! For I have love on my side! I understand now, Monokuma. You're telling me that it's time. The girls are going to go play in the pool, which means they'll be in swimsuits. That must be a zany yet romantic scene we'll play at, and I'll be there! It's it's not going to be. It's going to be a fucking twist. This is the worst 
pivot if that works. But should I? Is it really going to be okay to do that? Tenko would kill me. Yes. Yes, I can't back down now. The power of love in my chest has filled my throbbing heart. Full charge! I have no choice, I must go! It's after. No. It's because I have the, the love gun. He's just like, oh shit. So yes. first you go to the dining hall? Yeah. How the hell is this thing moving around if the mono cubs are in the dining hall? I'm actually in here! <coughs> da -da 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 -da. Fine, just say nothing to me, Shuichi. Fuck! Da -da 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 -da. Puna me. What the fuck? Hey, Kib. Good morning! Kibo! Good morning. I'm worried. Suichi, does this summons give you an uneasy you feeling? Yeah, I suppose it does. Based on prior events, perhaps another motive is going to be announced. The timing is similar to when we received the mono cup pads. Okay. Yeah, I think that may be the case. Indeed. But it's alright. No matter what kind of motive is prepared for us, we can oppose it together! Huh? I have decided. Don't worry, we won't allow the killing game to continue. Copium. That was strange. He's uncharacteristically optimistic. What did he mean? He won't allow for it to continue. He'll just it's like simple. destroy. If I the kill enemies. everybody, they <clears throat> can't kill each other. Classic. Oh, I, Evo. okay. New uh, volume mixer is amazing for Windows oh, 11. Yeah. I'll give it that. That's How's nice. it different? It it's just a different um, UI, hall, but it yeah, looks good. Oh yeah, it's dining okay. hall. Wait, dining hall? Isn't it the gym? Dining it's hall. the gym. Oh, it's the gym. I yeah. asked you if it was the dining hall earlier, Jay, and you said yeah. Well, it's the dining hall where the girls are meeting up to discuss. That's, no, I thought they were meeting. No, up that's the pool. pool. Yeah. They being said they wanted to gym. meet in the dining hall to go to the gym, though, right? I wonder if that no. mystery door is going to be Rantaro's lab. Who knows? No comment. The gym. Because you normally go to the dining hall, but today it's the gym. It was the same way when we went to the library after Rantaro's class trial. All clean. Like nothing ever happened. Hey, Shuichi, Sans. Uh, oh man, I'm tired as fuck. I was up all night fixing that computer. Ah, uh, you took a look at the computer on the fourth floor? What'd you think? Yeah, I only <laughs> just started working on it, so I don't know the full specs, but... Did you hear the Windows 11 volume mixer is really sick? <sighs> that thing is pretty good. I mean, it's so intense, it just won't let me sleep. Hmm... Are you jealous? Please stop! Of course not! I would never be jealous of a computer! A robot jealous of a computer? It seems just plain possible. Oh? That's hey, possible. Guys, am I a sleepwalking or something? What's she doing here? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. I'm hallucinating! After what me and Suichi did last night, and after what Maki said before, there's no way she'd be here. Wait, what'd you fuckheads do last night? Come on, man. Don't say something so stupid. You'll never get to know her better if you never talk to her. What? Maybe everyone would prefer that. Maybe everyone would prefer this to dangerous killer stays away from us. <laughs> of course, I wouldn't prefer that at all. You'd better cut it out. No, no. He's right. Murder and death have no place in a peaceful academy life. Mm. Yeah, it's just like Angie said. Yeah. yeah, it's just like Angie said. Huh? Everyone! Everyone, it's serious! No. Oh no! The colossal insect is on the other side of the wall, isn't it? No, not that. Going to went to courtyard before coming here. And the eternal worm came for Detroit. Thanks for bearing with us. Free baby idiots. Come on, what is it? What'd you call us out all of a sudden? What are the 
ones who called them out. Did you forget that too? Let's worry about Monotaro later and present the motive now. I knew it. So it is a motive after all. <laughs> it doesn't matter what the motive is. We're not going to do the killing game anymore. That's right. Th that's right. We aren't afraid of anything anymore. Indeed. Because we have a Tua. <laughs> what? <laughs> but it's no ordinary motive. <laughs> Still got me. This motive will inspire fear like never before. Fear like never before. If you face a fear like never before, you'll have no choice but to unite. Now for the motive that will cast you down into the depths of terror. We'll present, we'll present it together. together. This time, the motive is a transfer student. Huh? Mukuro Ikosaba, New your student. 16th yeah. student. <laughs> student is transferring, and not just any transfer student. New mono cub. You get to resurrect one of the four people who've died so far. <laughs> what? And welcome Excuse them me? back to the academy as a transfer student. Yay, re-zombification. What? A transfer student? Are you serious? We can <clears throat> resurrect someone? The instructions for the resurrection ritual are written in the Necronomicon. By performing the ritual as written, you can resurrect one deceased right. victim! But only one of the four who have died so far can become the transfer student. Whoever you choose, that person will be considered part of the killing game semester. Ah. So technically, you can kill them again as soon as they're resurrected. You know, if you wanted to use it like that. This motive is supposed to bring them closer together. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Old habits and such. Hey. Monodam. Let's forget Monotaro. Forgiving is what friends do, you know? That's wonderful. Mono Fanny, you're so nice. But there is more to friendship than being nice. Friends also punish each other when they do something wrong. That's why I'll punish you, Monotaro. <laughs> what? Uh, me? <laughs> Please, no, not Mono Fanny! <laughs> I always mocked her when she's not looking. I don't want to be punished by her. Fine, I'll do it. So long. Farewell. <laughs> <clears throat> We're all completely dumbfounded. <clears throat> I feel like this academy is preparing me for all sorts of absurd situations. Right, so who do you think's going to get resurrected? But I just heard so far is the most absurd thing so far. Probably Monokuma. So far. Tra transfer student. For resurrecting the dead. Don't say such stupid things. There's no possible way to resurrect the dead. It is impossible. It's impossible. Sheesh. Who, who the fuck would believe that load of unscientific bullshit? Listen. Everything you make is unscientific bullshit. <laughs> this belief due to a lack of scientific merit is simply the hubris of a scientific society. This ritual or rather resurrection ceremony stems from funeral ceremonies the world over. See, they're similar, yes? The act of sending the dead to the next world is a sort of ritual. There are rumors and legends that ritual twisted into a way to return the dead to this world. A ritual. So? Since you keep rambling about it, I'm guessing you really believe all that stuff, huh, Q? What are you saying? There's no way the dead can be resurrected. Huh? What? Do you understand? Without a doubt, the souls of the dead exist, but they cannot be brought back to life. Dead flesh cannot be restored, just as broken glass cannot be mended. Hmm. So you believe in souls, but you don't believe these souls can be resurrected. Do you believe these souls are dark? Uh, that seems confusing, but I know if we ask, this conversation will just go on forever. Oh, I have a perfect line for this. You ready, Samugi? Yeah, totally. This conversation is going nowhere. Wow, you're so true, Shuichi. Yeah. Okay. If not even Q believes it, then there's no such thing as resurrecting the right. dead. And if this idealistic degenerate can't believe it, no reasonable girl would believe it either. Hmm, you think so? I don't think it's strange for the dead to come back to life. <laughs> the kooky bitch is finally talking. But not too bad. Or, but too bad. <laughs> but no not too bad. I actually believe you. Cult. No. No, wait. Let's hear what Angie has to say. Let her cook. Right. 
Yes, Anji is free to speak. Yay! Yeah, can I say it? Yay! Okay, I'm going to say it. Because that's what the two desires. I can't follow those conversations at all. Oh, I guess I have the freedom to choose. I Lovely. mean, basically, it's if you want to advance, you click on Anji. <laughs> yeah. I think we will do that after I go to the bathroom. Because I have to go okay. to the bathroom. So. I'll go to it, then. I am back. Welcome back. Thank you. I tried downloading uh, all of Persona 5 Strikers while you everyone was away. Did it work? I only got 40% of the way there. Mm. New computer like downloading games fast. I'm happy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It would be nice that you have that computer for when you play Sea of Thieves. Oh, yeah. I mean, you should probably do like tomorrow or Wednesday. Yeah, no, since now instead of the half hour it took me, it might now only take me fifteen minutes. Cause I'm downloading at speed seven times as fast. <laughs> My peak before was like a hundred. Now I'm up to peak seven hundred and fifty-three. Which. I don't know why. I guess it's because the drives are faster, maybe? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Maybe your ISP fucked up and gave you, like, really good speeds that you're not paying for. I am paying for these speeds is the thing. Oh, you just never used to got, get what you were paying for? Well, yeah. My speeds are, like, 800 down. Um... And then, like... 50 up, I think. So, like, we're also really enjoy it when we're all living together, is what it is. As long as we live in an area where I can just transfer my ISP. And then y'all, you know, chip in. So we have good internet as a, you know, group. Sure. All right, I'm back. You know, we're yeah. playing Danganronpa right now. Why do you remind me of these things? We could be watching The Idol, which the is infinitely worse from from what I've from what I've been able the to. The what? Hear. 
The Idol. What is that? It is a show on Netflix that is five episodes of uh, essentially softcore porn because the director is a horn dog and it was like pitched as like a story. Ross, keep talking more. You're raising my high peak downloads. We're almost at 800. No, you you're downloading? doing you're ruining. Right now, I tried downloading the entirety of Strikers while you were in the bathroom. Nice. I have two minutes left. I'll do all the uh, Emily characters and me characters first, so you can. Well, not no, have to now talk. I'm gonna pause it. No, you can, you can just keep it going if it's two minutes. This resurrection ritual sounds stupid. I got dragged here for this. I should have ignored you guys after all. Hmm. Atua. I wonder what manner of god is in it that Angie speaks of. Hmm. Does that bother you as an anthropologist? No, I have no interest in gods, but I have great interest in their creators. Humans are the ones who created gods, and I'm very interested in humanity. I wish to know the cause and reasons why human beings create gods. I shall observe. In that sense, this school is most interesting, because it's during times of crisis and great crisis that humans create gods. <laughs> Maybe a god shall be created here as well. I get where Angie's coming from, but you, Kyo. Why? <laughs> Why the fuck is everyone listening to this crap? Am I the only one not falling for this? And I was so sure of myself, too. Alright, that's three Jane characters in a row. We'll skip them for now. What? What? Don't talk to me about that. I just want to hear Angie talk. <clears throat> yes, if Angie is saying it, a dead person might really hey. come back. Hey, let's hurry up and ask her. She's really racking up these cult points. What? You think it's strange that I want to listen to Angie? Right. So what? It's also important to listen to others so we can work together. And it's just Jaden characters left. Please, let's listen to what Anji has to say. Great line, Keybell. Love that you had something to say. <laughs> it's getting kind of weird now, but at least it's not boring. Oh, there's Maki way over there. Oh, no, no, I talked to Maki. We, yeah, we talked to Maki. Bring dead back to life? Gonta can no believe that. Forest family teach Gonta. Everything that born and everything die is part of grand flow and flow never rewind gonta would be happy if everything that die could come back especially gonta being a guy who's have... into insects yeah i, I bet they die in like oh, okay. a couple weeks well no then he'd have real parents but even gonta know that there were no way happening take back what already happened What happened? What's wrong, Kaito? You don't look well. Okay. No, it's nothing. Uh, I'm just not feeling so good. All of a sudden. And finally, Anj. Uh, um... So you believe you can revive the dead, huh, Anji? Uh... Um, I don't think the resurrection ritual can bring back the dead. It's probably more like returning the dead to us. What are you talking about? What do you mean? Because... You know how the bodies of all the victims have been cleaned up? So clean, it's like there was never a dead body to begin with. So maybe they were never dead to begin with. They weren't dead? No. That's not possible. We inspected all the bodies ourselves. But, but... It might have been a very accurate imitation. No. An imitation? Oh no. Junko. I see. On Akuma and the Exocells are evidence of ridiculous scientific advancements. So it may be possible for them to create extremely convincing imitation. Yeah. If that's what Anji says, then I'm starting to plainly agree. Did she always used to have this quirk? Where she had it, planed everything? It was always a thing, but I started doing it more recently. I've always supported Anji. Yeah! Yay, thank you everyone. Wait. No, wait a minute. I saw them with my own eyes. Gah, don't raise your voice to Anji, you Why? rude degenerate. Hey, you don't want them to be alive, Shuichi? You don't want the dead to be alive? That's true, but... 
I do. I do want that. I wish they were still alive. Even now I think that. But not how much we want that. Oh, wait. If everyone alive, that means they're somewhere in school, right? Mukuroiku Saba. So maybe one of them write message in courtyard. A message in the courtyard? What happened? Uh, no, okay. Weirdo. Returning the dead to us. Something, 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 something. We know Rantaro is... Returning the dead to us is a different way of saying the same thing. We know Rantaro was dead, and we saw Kaede and Kurumi die right in front of us, too. How can they deny what we all saw? Don't they realize how weird that is? I could see Rantaro actually being alive. I could see Ryoma, maybe. That'd be cool. Uh, um, Don't you know about the letters written on the courtyard, right? No. Yeah, but it's sort of different now. On the way here, going to go see writing in courtyard. Hey. And it have more writing this time. Hmm. The the worst name. Uh... Horse twin twi twin M Horse Twinema Thorns Wema Me uh -huh. a whore. Terp. I'm gonna just let you keep guessing. Huh? More writing. Um, Surma Thorwe. Gonta could now understand what writing means, but maybe... Maybe it message from dead? I'm a... Horse... Twin. I was like, what? No, she's not here. I can say whatever I want. <laughs> maybe everyone leave message for us. That say, hey, we alive. Maybe Ali is one of the, uh, the students still alive. Oh God, if she was in a Dungeon Rampa game, I would feel I wouldn't be able to I wouldn't be able to look at it because I love her, but like I don't want to see her in these circumstances. Huh? You want to see her get murdered in different ways? I don't think so, Jaden. Oh no, that doesn't seem like real. Ali has me. survived to the end uh, potential, I think. Because, like, the thing that kills these characters is being a fucking dumbass, That's normally. True. I mean, sometimes, like, it's really unfortunate how they get killed. But usually it's them being a dumbass. And Sakura killing herself. Uh-huh. Spoilers, I guess, for one. Why are you watching what three? Whatever, we'll spoil anything. Spoil something. Spoil something. Spoil, spoil, spoil anything. All right. Adachi is my favorite five character royal. for four. Yeah, suppose Olaf something from like the new content. Too. Yeah. Cause no one write it, did they? So someone else did it. Are you saying a dead person hiding in the school wrote that message? In other words, it's a message from the dead. Uh, wait, wait, a message from the dead? What the actual fuck? Uh, Either way, there's nothing more divine than being reunited with a friend. As she spoke, Angie picked the Necronomicon off the floor. What a sentence. Angie, whatever are you planning to do with that? Are you actually planning to perform the ritual? You do know it's a motive, yes. No. But perhaps it's a motive. That's dangerous to ignore, rather than a dangerous one to use. I mean, does it require a sacrifice? I guess it is the Necronomicon. Listen closely. For example, maybe the people who died are actually alive. And if we don't perform the ritual, maybe they will be killed for certain this time. Uh oh. Hmm. It would be a problem if you allowed four potential survivors to die. Thank you. <laughs> You're so smart for telling us, Gonta. You're a savior to these four people. Huh? Oh? How come everyone fucking gaslights this poor ass robot? Then she approached Gonta with her usual wide smile and. Aww. She's just converting everybody to her stupid religion. <laughs> well, she's got to make gold somehow. You're always trying to keep everyone safe. Even when you go berserk, you're still considerate of 
everyone else, I want an Anji hug. I'd worship her god. Atua is always watching you. That's how this shit works. Always watching. Well, um, you joined Yak taught me about cults, so it doesn't work. Atua is like a gentle grandmother. See, that sounds great. Watching over you and keeping you safe. Grandmas. She said, "KIS, keep yourself safe." Huh? Gentle grandmother. I thought you said Atua was a handsome man. Atua changes. No. Anji's Atua changes his appearance depending on who's looking. Whoa. Well, that's not suspiciously convenient at all. Oh yeah. Why don't you join our student council, Gonta? You're right. Yeah, it'd be really assuring if you were part of the student council, Gonta. Mm. Mm hmm. It will use your power for the peace of the academy, Gonta. Yeah. See how much everyone needs you, Gonta? You should definitely join us, Gonta. You need Gonta? Okay, Gonta joins Student Wait. Council too. Wait, before all that, what exactly is a Student Council? Is this why you've been acting yes. weird? Last night, Angie summoned us to discuss how we can eradicate the killing yeah, game. Right. Me, Kibo, Tenko, and Smoogie. Yes! And we arrive to a conclusion. Amazing. I love the confident uh, Himiko. Yeah, she's like, it's ha! possible! With our president. <laughs> Not a cult leader. Please vote for Anji Yonaga in the RNC primary. We yeah. Under the of Angie. Our platform is the wholesale eradication of the killing game. Yeah. Our yeah. <laughs> the downside is we live here forever. The student council and Angie is the president. Yes. Yes, there can be no I'm harmony. I'm pregnant between us. and you're different the things, father. Things. I'm a robot. That's not possible. Oh, shut up! Hi. What? Yup, yup. Uh, it's called the student council, but all the decisions making are done by Atua. <laughs> but since Angie can sp only speak with Atua, she's the one that's worthy of leading the council. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm gonna follow Angie too. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Atua is happy too. Oh man. Oh jeez, they've totally been brainwashed. Oh shit. He hit the skip button. <laughs> Angie is spider influence before we'd even realized. But it makes sense if you think about it. This place has all the conditions for a cult to form. This conversation is going nowhere. Fuck you, it's... Shuichi. That's wrong. The fear of a death cannot be avoided. Cults are born from a desire to escape that. I see. So she's using this situation to take over the school and make us all dependent on us to us. Using is a rude way to describe it. The president wants peace for the school, and we all agree with her noble wisdom. Right. Yeah, you <laughs> cannot let anyone talk about the Scootin Council. What? What would you laugh uh, at? Uh, so Ali came back from her shower, and she and, and and I guess it was an audible. She was she was doing she saw Kokichi, so she said Kokichi, and then she went like, "That's who I kid. Who do you kid?" And then she ran up to the mic, yelling Nakito, and and went for my throat. Oh, I didn't hear that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't hear any off. of that. I guess she must have been muted. I guess I guess you have to do it again. I didn't hear it. You literally just fucking joined them, you brainwashed idiot. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I heard it that time. But I'm surprised Tenko decided to join the student council. Huh? Well, why? That's correct. Because you and Angie were fighting over Himiko, were you not? <laughs> Who cares about that? I finally realized how great a Tua is. So? That's right, that's right. Now, who are we talking about again? Yup, yeah, yup. Yeah. Oh, that resurrection ritual, right? Just leave it to the student council. It's just burdensome if Atua makes the decision. Wait! That's burdensome! That's a relief. If it's Atua's decision, this is definitely the right one. Yeah. I know, Allie. It's a, it's a crime. Yeah, there's no way Atua would be wrong. Yeah. Yep, yep, Atua's always right. You, got a minute? you guys serious? The resurrection ritual is clearly a trap. <laughs> It'll be fine, as long as everyone puts forth their desire to leave. 
doubt they'll listen to anything we have to say. It's true, they probably are not going to listen, but you could at least be some help to Kaito. Uh, What's wrong with him? He's been quiet this whole time. Uh, sorry, so who you guys got dying this chapter? I still think it's going to be like a double, and I think Anji's one of them. Maybe Himiko. Not Kaito anymore. I think Kaito's at least lasting until the fourth chapter, if not the fifth and beyond. I feel like if he hasn't been killed yet, he might actually just be endgame. He feels very know. endgame. So does Maki, but Maki could I mean, also I be suddenly... I still stand by the fact that he felt extremely early game death, mm -hmm. but... Since That's the point. That. He does feel like an early game dumbass, but then he he's like getting steadily, like, not quite smarter, but more, like, introspective, and that has, like... There, there's some There's some brain going on there. Mm -hmm. He has a brain. I find that in Danganronpa games, you either have to be really smart or really, really, really stupid to make it to the end. Mm -hmm. We left it at that and went our separate ways. <clears throat> and I decided to follow my heart. It is time. <laughs> what a sentence. Let us go in search of a man's fantasy. This is your one and only warning. Huh? Oh, no. I headed off to the pool. My heart's safety was off, and I was going in guns blazing. What an incredible sight to behold. My fantasy shining like a supernova. I warned you. Okay. What? <laughs> They're so big, Tsumugi. Do you mind if I touch them? Wow, we are Remember really going here. Remember when he said he would fast for it? What? Unnecessary. Just be a waste of magic. If I wanted to look at porn, I would look at porn. So this is what Angie was planning. A party for the student council. Anyway, I saw it. I immediately questioned the morality of my actions. Just have to keep quiet. Keep it inside. Keep it together. It got him a level, and that's what matters. It's literally just that. That's it. That was what a dumb scene. scene. Parents of student reviving the dead to a student council, girls being naked in a locker room. So many heavy conversations this morning. I shouldn't just sit here and complain. There has to be something I can do. I have to find something. Anyway, the next one that we'll do is a really wholesome one, actually. That's okay. good. That's good. Yeah. Why did that one exist? <laughs> the only funny line in all of that was... I mean, because the game is for coomers, right? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's... Yes, I coom every speaking, time I see Andy. Speaking of coomers, let's go do the Mew rank 2, I guess. I'm surprised Mew wasn't a part of that. Well, she's not a part of the student council. That was who were The robot was a part of the student people. council. Huh? The robot was a part of the student council. Yeah, but he's not a woman. I guess that's fair. <clears throat> nah. Anyway, uh, I have enough items to hang out and be friends. Don't forget to buy a hotel key. Just in case. Uh, the part of me almost wants to save before like the nighttime hangout to, to like test. It's not. I'll do the that. The world if we miss like a scene like that, anyways. I just want to know how the fuck it works. I'm gonna yell really loudly when we get Mews. And then I'm just gonna not wanna voice. I mean, I'll fucking. I'll give it we'll, the we'll just hear. Try. We'll just hear the. And then Alright, how many lines do you uh, imagine you'll be able to get okay. through in the Mew, like, before, like, you're like, no? It depends on the content of the lines, to be, to be honest. Hey, just remember, the worst ones will be voiced because they're at the end. That's true. That is a little reassuring. If you needed any evidence, I'm it's gonna, also technically like uh, it's also a present if you ever want an instant. <laughs> Sorry, love. Did you say, what'd you say? I said if you ever needed evidence, I'm a masochist. It's because I play these games. I guess that's fair. I'm a sadist because I make you play these games. You don't make me do shit. I live my own life. Uh. I'm guessing ball. that the characters of the student counts are all, are locked for the last two or something like that. Uh, the people that are locked for the last 
to are Angie, Gonta, Himiko, Kibo, Kaito, Kaito and too, Samugi. Yeah, and Tang Hell. It's, it's the dining hall crowd. It's, and and yeah, and Kaito. Where is he cooking? The fuck is this girl? No. Kaito's you, actually you walked blocked right off. next to her. Kaito's blocked off for three, four, and five. She's in the dining hall, Ross. Now am I blind? All right. Wait. No, that's the men's room. Yes, I can finally enter. Oh, you can finally go to the bathroom. It's just a bathroom, bro. Wow, cool. That is really cool. I never seen one of these before. Oh, I had to use so many public bathrooms when we were flying. It was fine. God, I hate but... that. Yeah. Ross would die. I would actually. I can't tell you how many times I've been like in that between plane nonsense and just like fuck. You would. You're gonna die and if I've we ever flown go on, on a like trip two planes. In my that life. requires a long plane ride. I mean, you, I mean, you could time it so you go all the planes in the air in the plane bathroom. Uh, but then someone's in the plane bathroom because there's only fucking one of them. Yeah, but I mean, you know, if your flight's long, there'll be an opportunity. Just play for first class, you know? God, just talking about flying made me feel ick. Resurrecting she the must have been dead. talking about messages flying. from the dead. <laughs> Everyone's going nuts now. Should I hang out with me? What was that? Uh, of course, there's no way I'd ever believe in that kind of unscientific bullshit. Yeah. It's better tough word. She spent most of the day clinging to me. She's such she's such a a, fa a fail woman. I somehow ended up growing a little closer. Would you like to give her a present? All right. So one of her loves is this. Yes. What? How did you know I wanted this? D don't tell me you're that into me. Well, I guess a perma virgin like you can't help but think about, can't help but think about all day long. <laughs> I'm in a fan fucking tastic mood today too. Yeah, I think they forgot a me in there. Yeah. Sure looks that way. Hey, hey, why the grumpy face? <laughs> I know, you're all plugged up, huh? Let me give you something to get things moving. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Why is Mew in such a good mood? It's a little creepy. Hey! Come, Shuichi, to my research lab. Completely ignore my confusion. Mew headed over to the lab. Well then. Now, let's get started. Uh, um... Started? Start what? <laughs> Clean the shit out of your ears, Pooichi. What? Feast your eyes on the latest invention from the genius inventor, Miu Iruma. Miu showed me. Are these sunglasses? What was that? Not just any sunglasses. These have built-in erotic animations. Movies appear behind the lenses, so you can watch dirty movies anytime, anywhere. As a bonus, I included a video of me. Here, use this too. I bet this will get your blood moving. What is this? It's a recording of my moans. Huh? What? On your knees. I recorded a voice sample for you. You're welcome. <laughs> a virgin like you would never have the chance to hear this voice. <laughs> Is this grounds to file a sexual harassment complaint? Yes. I got other stuff for you, but I don't feel like explaining it at all. Just put it to good use, okay? Everything in the box Mew gave me was clearly for that purpose. Out of my way. Be happy. I made all this stuff for you. For me. No men need this kind of stuff. You can't get anything done if you're always plugged up. It's weird to be handed this stuff out of nowhere whether or not I need it. I'm a bit taken aback by how nice Mew is being, though. Nice. Uh, thank you? <laughs> See? Being honest ain't so bad now, is it? I like how honest you are, since it's you. I guess I could share my secret with you. Huh. Huh? Your secret. All right, let's let's hear it. Okay. What? What? Really? You'll share my secret? Why is she being shy? She brought it up. Booyah! All right, that's a great attitude. Now we're talking. 
We'll work out the details later. Okay. okay. Steam summer sale on now. That's true. <laughs> I bought a trian strat or triangle strategy or whatever it is. Oh nice. nice. I tried the demo for that. I wasn't super into it. Last game to uh, be voice acted by Ferdinand von Ayer's voice actor. Really? Yep. What are you doing with all these dimensions anyway? I love how good the um, the social link bonuses are for Mario keys. Like the getting SP every time, and then that one you got um, in the last episode where you have a chance to get charge and concentrate at the start of every fight. It's really good. <laughs> Yeah. These they ones are not they, very good. I think they really wanted you to, like, they, they really want people to, like, naturally <laughs> do his social link. Because What's they're like, hey, yes. it's a new thing, we want you to do it, it's really good. It's oh, my yeah. yeah. I don't remember what Kasumi's does. I think it's good. Probably just I mean, basic just... combat shit. Yeah, but there's always some other stuff in there. We yeah, will, uh, we're waiting for her to be a playable character. Yeah. In just the background, waiting. waiting for it to be a playable character, right? Yeah, yeah just keep waiting. W waiting oh, for it to be a playable character, right? Um, so, where's Mew? The Mewster is, uh... Somewhere. Somewhere. There she is. She's, She's at the computer. At the giant computer. Stop all the downloading. Why does it have to change the nice music while we're in here? Other way. Other oh, way. you're gonna hear this a lot later. I like both songs. Coming Friends is really good, though. I still like Beautiful Lie. Yep. Yeah. Hey, Pooichi, what the fuck are you doing? I'm definitely Enjoying gonna the have music. to. Jeez. But now I'm making a save here to see if I get the key. Though you I guess we'll know. I already bought it. What was that? I don't give two squirts a piss about the student council. It's got nothing to do with me. Those turds wanna roll downhill together. That's fine by me. I guess, even though it might not be safe to ask. Huh? Get your diarrhea-looking face out of here. What? Hear what I said. Spent some time taking Mia's verbal abuse, but she calmed down eventually. Yes. I love her smile, honestly. It's like she's biting her lip. No, All right. Not really. It, it just looks like an, an endearing, like, big smile. Oh, and then you hear her what talk, else can I know? give her? Uh, she, she wanted the wearable blanket. Yep. What was that? <laughs> yeah, we read this one already. Oh yeah, there the fliff, fliff one. I've gotta look that up on Urban Dictionary. Sure. Oh, Shuichi, you came to hear my secret, didn't ya? She didn't call me Puichi. You're the first person I ever shared this with. See, apparently fliff is slang term for money. So I might have I have some trouble saying it right. I mean, he was acting strangely. This must be important. You know. I'll just tell you straight up. To be honest, I I'm not a normal person. Oh, good, you're aware of it. <laughs> <laughs> that actually. uh... Oh, good, you're aware of it. Moron. Of course, I'm not so dense that I can't tell what makes me mm. weird. Then why not do something to change? You know. I need someone else to assure me that I really am weird. You really are weird. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, how did you know? It's, uh, it's pretty clear. Huh? You can tell just by looking that I'm an augmented human. Um, what? I didn't realize she was talking about something like that. Hey, hey, out with it already. Sorry. No, I mean I, I really can't tell. Huh? Huh? Then why the fuck did you even say that shit in the first place? You know. Anyway, you probably won't believe me, but back in the day, I used to be a boring, unremarkable girl with no talent at all. And then things changed, believe it or not. One day, I got in an accident and ended up in a coma. Real life and death type shit. 
Anyway, after the surgery, I barely managed to regain Persona. consciousness. And ever since, I've been chock full of ideas for all kinds of inventions. I had the brains, skills, and physical talent to make those inventions a reality. That's weird, isn't it? I mean, think about it. It's weird, right? Okay. Yeah, weird. That being said... So I've come to the conclusion that I am, in fact, an augmented human. Huh? My symbiote. An augmented human, huh? Sure. That's right. The surgery augmented me somehow. That's how I survived the coma. Wait. Wait. No, that, that can't be the case. You're definitely human, Mew. Sure. Sure. I do normal human stuff like eat and take shits, but... I mean, look at Kibo. Someone can make a robot that passes for human. Then it wouldn't be weird if I was an augmented human. <laughs> this is amazing. Huh? Is this something to get excited about? Sure. Of course. Superpowers are within my reach. Or should I say, literally within me. Yeah, that's it. I got the power inside me. We better start cutting me open. Wait. What? You die. <laughs> I'm an augmented human. It'll take more than disembowelment to kill me. You might be bizarre, but she's still human. I just gotta jam this baby into me. Me brain just a wrench and swing it up in the air. Wait, stop! A friend who grabbed her hand to stop her. Wait. Doesn't matter if you're augmented or not. You're a living, breathing being, Mew. Mew. So you can't hurt yourself like this. What, what are you saying? How else could I satisfy my lust for research? No. Can't let you do this, Mew. Oh, why? Why are you looking at me like that? What? Stop it! D don't touch me! <gasps> uh, Mew. Anyways, after that, I opened the box of inventions she gave me. Me left in a hurry. I watched her go and I returned to my room. I used it. I hope she's okay. She's not doing something stupid. Is it time to key up? No, those are after the Monokuma theaters, apparently. Apparently. Actually. Oh! Monotaro was out cold from being punched by Monodam as punishment. So we'll be taking a break from making announcements. While Monodam and I are on break, we'll leave the rest to Daddy. <laughs> the hell's wrong with them? I don't know, I didn't mention it, but I suppose it's night time. Time to train. Is Kaidot okay? I'll take that as a yes. Now the doorbell won't stop ringing. I suppose he's doing just fine. I hate that chair. Without the doorbell still ringing, I made my way to the door and opened it to find. Well, that's unusual. Huh? Maki. <sighs> Kaito's resting. He says he's not feeling well, and that we should train without huh? him. <laughs> just the two of us? Jeez. We can make it if we try. It's pretty solace of him to bug me to train with you guys, then flake but out. Well, he did say he wasn't feeling well. Why are you making excuses right. for him? Uh, well, no, <laughs> I guess you're right. Hey, hey. Let's just get this over with. I didn't come here to make small talk with you. So we're really going to do this. Training. Just two of us, huh? We can make it if we try. I mean that. Anything to spare me from the key. And that's how Maki and I ended up training together. needs to do this probably not but overthinking things and worrying about what i need to do when i'm with kaito i feel like all of that stuff just fades away do you look up to that idiot uh i don't know if i call it looking up to him it's just that i've never been around someone so relaxed and impulsive i think that's exactly what i've been missing all this time I never realized until now how gross it is to hear men talk about being manly. <laughs> that's that's pretty based. <laughs> Monkey sprang up and said, "Hey, one hundred. I'm done." Monkey seemed nonchalant as she brushed off her hands. <laughs> You're really fast as usual. So what? I used to be forced to do push-ups until I passed out. 100 push-ups is nothing. Huh? What? About Kaito. I sort of understand what you mean. That's true. But I'm a bit jealous of how carefree he is, even if he is useless. I was taught to only value the essentials. 
I was forced to abandon anything non-essential so they could mold me as they saw fit. Well... After everything they did to me, I sometimes wonder what I am anymore. I didn't ask to become this way. It just happened to me. After what I've been through, am I still even human? Even Kibo acts more human than me. Because... But I had no choice but to... This is stupid. Why am I talking to you about this? You can't but... help me. Nah, uh, but I'm kind of the same way. Well... Never once wanted to be a detective. I actually thought it wasn't too great a job. Covering people's secrets for money? It's the worst. Okay. Now I feel completely different. If it's gonna help my friends, I'll do it. And it's Kaidi and Kaito that have helped me see things that way. So what? I didn't ask to hear your story. Maki's face remained totally unfazed as she turned and walked away. Maki! Maki! Ah, see you tomorrow, Maki. She didn't reply and kept All walking. Right. All right! She left! <laughs> I'm still a little worried about Kaito. Can't wait to he see her at the hotel morning. later tonight. God. Shuichi when he gets divorced. All right! I hope that's nothing serious. Yaha! Welcome back, Maki. You finally came. Jeez. You know, Maki, it's not okay to walk around at night time. Why? Why? I'm not violating any school regulations, am I? <laughs> Manakuma's regulations don't matter. But Karumi's crime happened during nighttime, right? But if no one was allowed to walk around at nighttime, that case wouldn't have happened. Indeed. That is why the student council is trying to limit all nighttime activity. Well... Limit. So basically, you want to take our freedom away, is that it? My, my! <laughs> you feel odd, Maki. What's more important, freedom or a person's life? Uh... We need to remove all worry and doubt. So everyone can have a peaceful life here. Because that's what Atua says. That's what Atua says. Atua says. Yes. People are afraid of you, Maki. So we prefer it if you are more careful. Mm. It's for the peace of the Academy. Literally 1984. Correct. It's also Monodom Theater, not Monokuma Theater. Yeah. What is the point of human life? They're born as useless babies who can't do anything. And 70 years later, they're useless old people who can't do anything. Hairless, toothless, wearing diapers, unable to take care of themselves. In the end, it's also meaningless. Well, who is it tonight? Let's do this scene and then uh, head off for the night, by the way. Oh. Yeah. Let's go! Alright. Are you ready, Miu? I mean, ah, fucking like you gotta, see. you gotta rip the bandaid off. Every time I come here, I play the role of their ideal, like some shared fantasy. Muse fantasy. I am prepared for total absurdity. You know. Hey, Shuichi. Huh? Huh? What is it? Um. I got some fan fucking tastic news that'll put a smile on your face. <laughs> and since we're childhood friends, you're getting an exclusive inside scoop. Okay, all right. So you better feel real fucking special. Okay. Okay. I see. So we're childhood friends in her fantasy. That's why she's being so nice to me. I'm being nice to her too. If I'm not careful, she might wake up. You know. So yeah, about this news. What's going on? Why'd she get quiet all of a sudden? You, 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 you can have your way with me if you want. Huh? I can what? Why you? You didn't hear me. You were such an asshole. I just said you could have your way with me. You fucking asshole. No, no I, I heard you. I, I just, I don't understand. Why? <laughs> Why? Why? It's just that this is so sudden. I, I... It's only because. I want to thank you, Shuichi. Huh? Thank me. 
I mean, what better reward Out for a man way. than this slam and sexy ass body of mine? Know what I'm saying? No. I'm gonna ignore that last bit. So why'd you want to thank me? What was that? Huh? You really don't know? You call yourself my childhood friend. That's... I'm sorry. I really don't know. Um. Don't laugh, okay? Okay. All right, we'll laugh. Um. You won't shout at me. Leave it to me. Of course I won't. Don't worry. Um. Okay. Ever since we were kids, Shuichi, you've always taken care of me, you know? You held my hand everywhere we went, you stayed by my side no matter what, and you're still doing that for me. You're only the only one who sees past my act, and it was the real me, Shuichi. I see. We must be very close in this fantasy. Um, if I didn't have you in my life, I'd probably be in a gutter or something. You're the reason I can hold my head up high as the ultimate adventure. And so I wanted to thank you. But you said... You didn't need my inventions, so I should use them to help people. So I don't have anything else to offer you as thanks except myself. The sentence sputtered out half-spoken. Her face was cherry red. Um, no, that's just an excuse. What I really want is your baby. <laughs> <laughs> my child? Um, well... Huh? What the hell's so hard to understand? God, you're so fucking embarrassing. My beauty brains and talent and your winning personality. Why, well, that's the recipe for the perfect child! Ah ha ha! Best of both worlds, baby! It will be a best of both worlds, baby. I fucking rule! We just gotta give the kids the right education, let them invent whatever, and we're set for life! Uh, what? Oh, what is it? Are you gonna fuck up my perfect plans for our future? Or is it, you know, want that future with me? Oh, is this all voice now? Yep. Because you don't need me? Is that it? No! I don't want you to abandon me too! So we... We gotta make a baby! Uh, um... I have to make sure you won't abandon me! This is the only way! Is that how she truly feels? Come on, please. I Jesus you. Christ. I need you inside me, Shuichi! I wouldn't... I wouldn't okay. read that line. <laughs> That's okay, right? Please? Uh, of course not. There's no way I could do that. You motherfucker! If you're not gonna use that dick of yours now, then Why bye, are we huh? doing these? I don't know. You know what? Fuck it! Come here, Shuichi! I'm gonna squeeze every last drop out of you! Uh, uh Wait a minute! Beta boy toy Shuichi. Always get thrown onto the bed. Gonto would be a gentleman. We do these for the morning after text, Sam. Yeah, that's I why. I mean, I do feel like I got fucked. So. I don't. I feel really happy. That's how I look right now. <laughs> I didn't realize she would take that big a bite. Alright, I think, um, I think that's a good place to leave it. It's what? Is it low, morning already? Low, low Last night note. with me, was that a dream? I hope so. A crazy, wild dream. So that's the morning announcement, is it? It was a little creepy. I don't like this at all. I suppose I'll go to the dining hall. <laughs> Whoa. Alright, who do I hope for next? Well, well let's, let's save and quit before we leave. Yep. My hopings have been, uh... The conversation. Silly, silly, silly scene. Gontas would be really nice. Uh... Kibos would be pretty cool. Angie's would be funny. It would just be a fucking... I'll oh, have sex with you if you pray to Atua. You're gonna have sex with the god, Shuichi. Isn't that great? Uh... And then the rest of them I don't want to see. I think Angie's is another power play one. Wow, what a surprise. I think they're all fucking power play ones. Gonta's is nice. Literally the only ones I could see not being power play ones are like the the witch girl, Himiko. <laughs> That's it. The, the rest of them. The rest of them fuck Shuichi. 
Oh, Kimiko no, just goes, is... Kimiko would literally just be sitting in the room and be like, Ugh, I'm bored. Uh, uh, is really... Uh, this is such I, a pain. I like uh, This is such a pain. And then she, like, gets passed out when, like, the fucking horse spinning around the bed smacks her in the face. She just, like, passes out on the floor. Everyone else fucks Shuichi. Even the robot, who has, like, a lift oh, strength of 20 pounds. Uh, Tenko's is nice. Uh... <laughs> what? Uh... Kaede's is wholesome. I feel like inviting Tenko to the room is just like denying her sexuality. I mean, they might not do anything. I think Kaito is just y uh, you and a bro. That I don't sounds. Think yeah, I want to see bro. Kaito. That, that sounds your like JO it. crystals. Yeah, you know, just like hanging out with a bro. That one sounds yeah. fine. I'd be alright with that one. What, Shuichi, you're not mad enough to fill your JO crystal with me? Literally, the three we've gotten so far are. The two psychopaths and the horny chick. You can't make Wait, this shit you up. You think she's not a psychopath? Well, Did you hear that shit she was saying? Yeah. Okay. All right. The the three psychopaths. She's the most psychopathic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah she just wants your baby. Like Kokichi yeah. just lies a bunch. She she literally was like, I I like want to get. <laughs> I <laughs> get pregnant so I know you won't leave me. That's true, like, psychopath. Alright, the two psychopaths I could not overpower, and the one psychopath I could maybe overpower. Maybe. Could, one of them literally could, ran you away You could overpower from you. all three of those people, are you kidding? Me? Only, no. You only, hey, look, they're, you only like, had sex twigs. with two of them. They're twigs. Yeah, okay, maybe. You are only you had... saying Koki Kokichi's 97 pounds, so he can't pull, like, a small body up the side of a, of a cliff with a rope? Kokichi's oh, like I, Gollum. I he would latch to my face and strangle me. Look, you didn't have no. sex with Kokichi. You don't have to worry about him. He only had sex with Miyu and Korikio. Anyways. Yeah, Kokichi just fucking cock oh. me. He did. Jack That's up. his whole thing. He cocked his shoe and ran away. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go um, have a shower before bed because I feel dirty. Yeah, uh, take a nice long shower. Goodbye, everybody.